Aqua. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hexbreakers, a Kids on Brooms actual play. Once again, I don't have a script, so I'm just going to make some stuff up. Um, we're uh, sorry to be here a little bit late tonight. We had some delays that we had to take care of, but we're happy to be here. We're happy to have you here. Uh, if you've been tuning in all this time, uh, I um, uh, we've been playing a game of kids in a magic school, and we're going to do something different tonight, and we'll fill you in on what that is in a second. But I'm Emily St. James. I'm the GM. I play some really wonderful characters, like, uh, for instance, Melody and Daphne and Chandler and Tanager. Uh, those are some characters that I play every week. And uh, I'm joined by some players. Uh, Kimmy, why don't you start? Hello, I'm Kimmy, and tonight I am playing Michelle, and I fix all the problems. Adam. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Adam, and tonight I'm going to be playing, uh, I, as I always do, Michelle, uh, who is a girl just wanting to connect with friends and, and find a community for herself. Right. Hey, everybody. I'm Riley Silverman, and as always, of course, tonight I'm going to be playing Michelle, of course, just a girl who just really wants to be herself, like her truest self. Joey. Hey, everybody. I'm Joey, and I am playing Michelle. Uh, you know, a girl who's just trying to do the right thing against all the odds that the world puts out in front of her. In case you hadn't guessed, uh, we are playing, uh, we're still playing Kids on Brooms. We're doing all the rules for that. We're rolling all the dice for that. Uh, but we have, uh, I've hacked it like 5% to accommodate Bluebeard's Bride rules of everyone who's playing the same character, different personas within that character. We're going to see if it works and if it doesn't. You know, you can have me fired and someone else will be the chief. <laughs> no, if it doesn't work, we will be right we back with that. we will be right back with the characters that you know and love uh, in our very next session. Um, but yes, uh, I need all of you to roll 1d20 and just tell me what you get. Yeah, for the record, you cannot get fired for GMing a Happy Jack show. I've tried. I mean, six. Eight. Five. Okay, Eight. so I'm handing Kimmy this ring. Ooh. This ring means that you are in control of Michelle's body. Mm. Now, it's very pretty. It's like it's like a like an emeraldy stone. It's not an emerald, but it's a. Yeah, I'm yeah. describing for the podcast audience. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a. It a, looks like a magic ring from a magic school. Yeah. It's very cool. <laughs> I probably shouldn't put it on my hand because I don't know if I can get it off. It's a ring. It's a ring that that, that uh, it it's a ring that Riley brought, and she was kind enough to uh, lend it to me because kind of I forgot my costume jewelry and had a little piece of notebook paper that says "This is not a ring" with the drawing of a ring on it, which was just not going to be a tribute. Thing, but... <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know where that came from. It just is in my gaming bag. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, all right, I guess. And when, yeah, when, when she said she needed a ring, I was like, yeah, I got it's you really pretty. Yeah, it's meant for to a be minute. There. I thought you meant I didn't know where this is a tribute came from. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> tenacious D. <laughs> but, well, it's the greatest song in the world. It's a tribute to the greatest song yes. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so by holding that ring, that means that you are controlling Michelle's body. Oh, look. Mm. So. Bluebeard's Bride has rules about who gets the ring and what. We are going to play in general with you passing to the left <laughs> to do the thing with my hands. But if we are in a scene and one of you is like, no, I think Michelle should do this and we need to like make sure this happens, then we'll have a straight roll off of D20s. And whoever gets the higher number wins that argument. Again, very dumbed down version of the rules to that mm -hmm. other game. But other than that, we're playing Kids on Brooms. So any further questions from any of you or the audience? Yes. Yes. When we are not in control of the body, is it like inside out Herman's head style mm -hmm. where we're conversing? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I will I will be uh, setting the scene uh, in a moment here. Um, if you are watching this and you have issues with um, characters being dead named, um, other forms of transphobia, we're not going to be like super overt about it, but it will occur within the world of the show. Um, there will be allusions to some dark stuff. Like, we're not going to depict any of that because that's not the kind of show we are. But I want you to know what's happening. And if you need to dip out, please dip out. We won't judge you for it. We love you and are glad you're watching us. So thank you for joining us. For everyone is Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I yes. also uh, point out uh, safety tools? Where we've uh, Yes. Yeah, we've got safety tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. we want to let everybody know that we're going to use safety tools. Yep. And uh, because this is this is the kind of thing that you want to be able to do with your group. And uh, there's no shame in it. And there's no shame in ever tapping the safety tools and 
uh, and letting yourself be comfortable in the moment with your group. With that in mind, I have never been, I've never needed to utilize safety tools with Happy Jacks yet. Mm -hmm. So how do, is, it, is this the X card? Is it the white? Yeah, the how X do... card, the little card there. Um, you can also just kind of do this, or if you do like a hand signal, that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Um, when you do that, we immediately like pull away. If we do need clarification, like what do you want to, but we don't ever ask why, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, it, but we generally will like immediately steer away. Um, we also just, everybody, knows we've already done um lines and veils and yes. talked about that previously mm -hmm. um I, i'm abide, abiding by those uh extensively yeah so, absolutely extensively yeah. was the wrong answer, <laughs> so and you can always like x like an individual word or a phrase or and just be like I i'd rather we not use that term and that's totally fine cool. um, yeah we won't not, yeah. yeah and i won't be using slurs or anything like that no. within the you know we it may be implied that that's happening but we won't be saying it so um that's good. yeah yeah cool thank you all so much that's the game everyone <laughs> um yeah so to set the scene for you you don't know a lot but you know your name is michelle the four of you uh live and sit and work in what is sort of a you know those college amphitheaters where everyone can sit and look down at the lecturer up front? You sit in one of those. There are other folks around who represent other parts of Michelle's personality. You don't necessarily talk to them as often. The four of you work together very closely. At the front of the room, you can see an enormous like screen, like a pull-down screen. And on that screen, you see whatever Michelle is seeing. You see the world through her eyes because you are, after all, Michelle. People don't always call you that. Sometimes they call you by a different name, but you know who you really are. And before we dig too much further into the world of Michelle, I want you to define some of the parameters of that. So I want you to sort of to each tell me like how you conceptualize of this person within Michelle that you are playing and then a place in Wausau, Wisconsin that you love going to more than anywhere else in the world. So if anyone has an answer to either of those questions, go for it. <clears throat> I, I, does somebody have an answer? Okay. I can go if go. somebody else. Right has okay. Um, we like to go to the roller skating rink. Sure. I mean, <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, I, I, sorry. I'm not in my character voice. Yeah, we like to go to the roller skate and rink. Uh, right. It's where we have the most fun, don't you know? Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's where all our friends hang out and uh, we can drink some Pepsis and uh, we can have some chips and, uh, you know, some popcorn and uh, and just hang out with all our friends. Cool. Yeah, right. you betcha. How do you see your, um, your community-oriented, Michelle? Um... A uh, community-oriented Michelle, I think, is she's her warmest self. She's that bright uh, upper Midwestern uh, cheer mm -hmm. that just like, you know, uh, oh, well, it's too bad the garage roof collapsed and my dog died yesterday. But, you know, <laughs> I'm just we got macaroni and cheese for lunch today. So I think it's going to be a great day anyway. <laughs> <laughs> who who here that you work with do you trust the most and who do you trust the least? Um I th I think the one I trust the most is probably problem solver mm -hmm. Michelle um because uh because problem solver Michelle is is willing to to go out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. uh in order to be you know, in, in order to be, um, uh, yeah, in, in order to fix things that are okay. wrong. And so, so, uh, she's the one that, that I turn to, to like, Hey, back me up here. Mm -hmm. We need to go make some friends and we need to be connected to other people. So we don't feel so alone. Okay. Um, I think the one I trust the least is actually, uh, um, hmm. I think it's probably true self Michelle. Um, because, uh, true self Michelle is, uh, um, true self and, and, uh, please, please X card me if this feels like too personal, but I think true self Michelle, um, is going to have to go through some isolation. And, and if we, you know, if, if 
she's in charge uh you know it's going to be a lot harder mm -hmm. and and she's gonna uh, she might lose friends mm -hmm. and you know and there might be conflict with family and it would just be a lot easier if we could just all get along okay yeah. okay who has a notion if anyone Didn't you have one a moment ago? I did. I didn't want to like cut off no, people. No, fine. I feel go like I yeah. always go first. Like it's <laughs> except in character. Well, you hit me this time. You didn't hit you. This was no, like. I didn't. Oh, Joey with the sick burn. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> she said I always go first. Like except in character creation. <laughs> always. Yeah, that is so true. Always the last with creation. <laughs> um, so it's at least I'm like reliable. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> I think for problem solver Michelle, uh, she's very efficient. She has trouble sometimes connecting with the other parts of Michelle because mm -hmm. like the efficiency and the, the, the quickest way to solve a problem is not always through being yourself or through making a community or for doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. So she has to like balance the efficiency and that desire to, I can fix this mm -hmm. with all those other aspects and a lot of times they're in contradiction with that um so she tends to be um like very like data driven very factual mm -hmm. um still very much swayed by emotion too though like well this is the best thing for us like mm -hmm. obviously i feel this i want this let's do this i can solve this problem and i can get us this mm -hmm. um so it's kind of like the heart and mind trying to balance at the same time which can get confusing for problem solver part of Michelle. Yeah. Where do you love to go in Wausau? Um, I think I really like to go to the library. Okay. It's a place where I can get information on things, but it's also a place where I can watch people mm -hmm. and get information without necessarily having to interact with them. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, who do you trust? Who do you not trust? I think I, think I feel... I think I do not trust do the right thing, Michelle, mm. because, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I have a cold. It's not COVID. Everybody, <laughs> I've been tested so many times. It's not COVID, but I have asthma. So the cough sounds super gnarly. Um, I'm no longer contagious either. So. Um, I think uh, do the right thing, Michelle, doesn't always solve the problems. Mm. So sometimes the right thing is the right thing, but not the right thing to solve our problem. Mm -hmm. And I dislike that. Do the right <laughs> thing to solve our problem. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think the person I do trust, um, I think be yourself, Michelle, is the person I trust the most. Because solving the problem, being ourselves, is often very connected with the problems and what I think is the best solution for it. Cool. Joey or Rocky? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Uh, so the place in Wausau that uh, Do the Right Thing Michelle likes to go to is the Dairy Queen. Hey. Uh, mainly because there's a uh, manager there who is always looking out for people and mm -hmm. making sure her employees are doing okay and helping people who maybe can't afford mm -hmm. food at that time. And it's it's mm -hmm. an example for her to kind of like, this is what someone who is an upstanding member of society is supposed to do. So it's kind of a, an example for her. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as do the right thing, Michelle's uh, kind of, self in in this uh little head of ours uh she is a bit more active or wants to be a bit more active she's very um can think of the word impulsive mm -hmm. like wants to this is the right thing so we're gonna do it like it's the one that wants to maybe sometimes punch someone in the face if they <laughs> if they deserve it and it when the right thing is so obvious, you can't care about anything else. You just have to do it and then worry about the repercussions later. Which is why I think she mistrusts um, the solve problem, Michelle, because we spend so much time doing calculations and trying to figure out the correct way to handle problems, the problem's just going to pass by and get worse. Mm -hmm. mm. Do, do, who do you trust? I absolutely trust uh, True Self, Michelle. Okay. Uh, mainly because they are the epitome of being your true self is being doing the right thing. So it kind of work in 
like a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. And there was a bit of like a, I think, older sister, younger sister, like protection thing. Like mm -hmm. until you're ready to throw those punches and to take those punches, I'll be the one to throw those punches and take those punches. Cool. Mm. Oh, thank you for the gift you just gave me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Riley. Oh, well, okay. So I'm, I'm Michelle's like, I'm like her, like, I'm like the true self, you know, and I just, my favorite place in the town to go to, honestly, is that gosh darn thrift store because <laughs> there's, there's just like so many cool things that I can like, you know, I can pick up the occasional like dress or skirt and, you know, I can always like tell them like, oh, I'm doing a play at school and I can just try it on and it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting really Irish again. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I just, I just like having that place to go <laughs> really Irish. I was trying to do the woman from, um, <laughs> from Myth Mythic Quest, who's mm -hmm. the, uh, the woman who does the, uh, is it Helen? No, it's, um. The one who does the uh, the the list the, the reads the emails the community service person anyway right, yeah. uh, so, you know it's just those darn things so I just like going down there and uh, mm -hmm. you know it's it, I'm, it's just gonna be Irish I guess <laughs> that's all fine. right um, that's fine yeah um, I just you know I like having that gosh darn place to go to and just be myself and be happy with it and you know it's fine but <laughs> this is hilarious um, my my physical self I think is is the most like Michelle that you've already seen on <laughs> this. I'm sorry to the podcast listener all right. Stop being self-effacing. Just have fun with the show. All right. right. Yeah. It's having okay. a great time. Yeah. <laughs> I think my physical self probably looks the most like the Michelle that we know and love from the show. You know, the really curly red hair, lots of bright colors, very bouncy and positive because that's who I really want to be in the inside. And the rest of these jokesters, they're always making me so dour and sad all the time. And I just don't think that I need to be it. And that's why, like, honestly, if I'm going to answer your question, I don't trust any of them because all of them have the opportunity to help me be who I'm supposed to be. And they all have reasons not to like community is always like, well, what would people think about us if they know right. who we really are? Well, what then, would they think? Well, I, exactly. My point, <laughs> you're always so worried about what everyone gosh darn thinks about you that you never get to think about who you want to be. Exactly. And then miss, miss problem solver. Why don't you solve the problem of us getting to be who we're supposed to be? <laughs> like that's the number one problem. Let's solve it. Working right. on it. Well, it's, fine. It's a process. Fine. Also, then, there's a lot of other problems before that one. Well, that's my whole point is that you you and do the right thing, Missy, over here. She's always trying to think of like, oh, what's the right thing to do? As if like being ourselves is selfish and it's not the right thing to do. Just do it already. I, I agree mean, with that. All three of you are just, you're just such negative Nancys. <laughs> well, so I, I don't trust I you. sure am cheerful. I certainly like to have a good time. But Let's go down to the roller rink. You read. know that you're sad. So just like, Stop, stop stop smiling to make your friends happy and smile to make Michelle happy. I feel like this is not the best use of our time right now. The best use of our time is being who we are. Yes, I agree. But also there are things that we want and we can do as we are who we are together. And talking and arguing amongst ourselves is just making it so we can't get anything done. So well, that's my fear with you is that I feel like you're always wanting to like micromanage everything down to like the smallest detail and then we never move forward. So we're just so like paralyzed with our own fear. Well, you know, all plan and no execution with that one. Yeah. A yeah. schedule is a promise. <laughs> I, yeah, it is. Lots of execution once things are laid out properly, so it doesn't cause more problems than it started and with. The thing every you're planning year. for is already passed. Every year, it's like this is going to be the time when I start being myself. But every year, it's like, oh, but there's a reason why we shouldn't because our friends will make fun of us or our dad will be mad at us. Like, I just don't care right. anymore. It's going to be me. Something. <laughs> Sorry, I can do it all night. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, right. I'm yeah. Like I'm having a great time. But <laughs> something me is... from about like. Three years old to about twenty-seven. Exactly. To hang out and exactly. I was like, <laughs> I was like having like PTSD flashbacks. Um, uh, Just picture myself laying in my bed, yeah, staring at the ceiling, having terrible insomnia. Yeah. For Eighteen, nineteen years of my life. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, something is coming on the screen up at the front of the room, and uh, you see the door to uh, the one you know as Dad. He's tall. He has a he's a mustache. He's thin. He's always wearing a seed corn cap. The door to the truck opens, and he watches you get out and says, "Hey, okay, so you're meeting a girl here for a date. Okay, have fun, Curtis." And uh, you're at the roller skating rink, um, and uh, this is going to be. When you get inside, it's just normal roller skating day. You know, people are skating around. Um, you can kind of see people occasionally going by. Some of them kind of laugh at you. They call you names. They call you words that we won't say on stream. They, like, don't quite know what to do with you. And as you are skating along, you see sitting at a table off to the side, there is a girl about your age 
who you're not familiar with her. You haven't seen her at school and she is crying. She's trying to hide that she's crying, but she's like hiding her face and her arm, her whatever that is, not armpit, uh, is the thing that's at your elbow, the back of your elbow, <laughs> crook? Like, the crook of your, uh, the crook of her arm. She's hiding the crook, the crook of her arm. She's crying and she's trying to hide that she's crying. Um, but yeah, she's not someone you have noticed and you notice that she is wearing, uh, something from the local evangelical church, which suggests strongly that she is homeschooled, which may be why you don't know her. These are things you would assume. Are they true? Who knows? But well, just having lived in Wausau, you'd assume that. You know, somebody who's crying and is real sad, you know, we need to go take care of that. That's a problem to solve. So. Let's solve that problem. You've got the ring, Michelle. So let's just go over there and see if we can give her a little cheer and a little comfort. And maybe she'll be our new friend. I think that's a great idea. But I think first we need to assess the situation, decide why she's crying. Because there might be situations where we could make it worse. Or we can just go over there and find out why she's crying. Well, that's right. part of I the process, yes. No, I agree with do the right thing, Michelle. Today. I mean, I'm I pretty... just think we need to make more female friends, so I think that we should go <laughs> talk to her because maybe like she could like help, like maybe she's like really cool and can like help us learn some stuff. Well, that's three to one, and I'm glad to see us coming together to make uh, it's something. Not three to one. I'm agreeing. I said yes, but we need to assess the situation first. Yeah, well, don't take too long, so we look like a looky loo. We're not going to, but we I mean, look at the shirt they're wearing. Okay, now, now we're staring careful. at her chest, and I don't think that anyone likes that. Well, not the, <laughs> well. Not the food part, just the, the logo part. Goodness, you guys cause problems when there's nothing there. All right. Well, okay, let's go over. So, so we'll walk over. I'm going to walk over. I wish I had a pair of those. I will, I will say that uh, every dice roll is going to succeed, but it will, it will. how high you roll is how well it succeeds, okay. basically. Okay. I'm just... Stating that by fiat. I'm making this up as I go. Um, the, uh, yeah, the girl's sitting there and um, you see that there are like a whole bunch of other like kids dressed in, you know, uniforms for different evangelical churches who are skating around. And every so often they like whisper and laugh at her. And she looks up at you and says, oh, hi, who are you? I'm going to pause for a second. Um... Where are we with what we're calling ourselves to outsiders? I want to make sure this is a group decision. Oh, yeah. If you want it to be a thing where you are saying Michelle's dead name, but you don't want to say it, you can say, hi, I'm other name. Okay, no, I'm fine. But is that what like, I want us to all be on the same page about oh, what yeah. decision Michelle would make? Um, I think that I have to not be the deciding vote in that because I'm 100% going to be Michelle. We're Michelle. <laughs> And <laughs> wrestling, you're like so. I will. I will. So the three of you can decide what for storytelling is the best choice of that. But in character, I'm very set on. Of we course, are, we are Michelle. Yes. That is who we yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. Even in character, I'm. I'm in the same boat where it's we are Michelle. Okay. It is the right thing I, to be yourself. Yeah. I. I have to. Th uh, I don't want to play this role. <laughs> exactly. Out of, but, out of, but, out of but, character, yeah. as as be ourself. I think that mm -hmm. at this point in the story, we would not be publicly identifying ourselves. I think, I think that was my thought as yeah. well. Yeah. And I think as problem solver, I wouldn't yeah. want to cause problems by doing that. Yeah. But I just wanted to make sure that that was a cu like community decision with yeah. all of us as players. Yeah. So yeah, we're as all players, yeah. 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 as character, I, I, that's why I Absolutely. wanted to like, in character, yeah. I can't yeah. argue as to point. So that's why I was saying it. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I didn't feel like that was a yeah. decision one person should make in this game. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I feel like community, Michelle, would still be saying like let's use our dead name because yes. because uh, we're we're trying to avoid problems we you know uh it, you can't just come right out and say that mm -hmm. and you know uh yeah but let's so, not but... say the dead name not for our benefit as much as so that people who yeah it's a problem for Absolutely. can enjoy yeah. listening and not yeah. have to worry about yeah. like yeah. stopping the audio yeah. because of it yeah i have said it one time that's the only time i'm saying yeah it, but yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's important could... for people who are just yeah. tuning in who may be was, watching yeah. this the first one it was yeah. being oh. said before we knew about it right. which i yeah. think is different than it being said once we know yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah so i agree can i offer yeah. a suggestion uh uh mechanic what or mechanic wise uh but um it, you know you know how, like, when I say what year I was born was, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. maybe, it, you know, and we just sort of muffle it, like, mm -hmm. you know, hi, I'm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in, to me, that also feels authentic within because, uh, like, 
Michelle as a human is not going to forget that name existed, mm -hmm. you know, and it's always kind of there. And uh, having you know, said that, yeah. I often forget what my old name used to be. Like, yeah. I, not that I don't forget it, but I forget yeah. that it was my name. Yeah. Like whenever oh, I see uh, it or hear it, sometimes I'm like, yeah, oh, that's weird. Yeah. But that's also because I went by a different name in the interim between the two. So that might be part of it too. So oh, okay. I got a nickname that I was by for yeah. a long time. But anyway, it's on the side. Interesting. Yeah. Is it, and I, by the way, full disclosure, yeah. we did we did have an episode where we I did encourage calling my character by her dead name, but that was also oh, yeah. intentionally yeah. saying like this is yeah. a traumatic thing happening to her. That's yeah. Why yeah. Should play it. yeah. Yes. So, absolutely. Yeah. So okay. So right. well, go uh, on, go on. Uh, hey, um, <clears throat> and she like stops crying and looks up and looks away and seems like she doesn't realize you're talking and then looks back like like yeah, she's. Wave. Like she's in like a John Carpenter movie, and it's like, <laughs> are you talking to me? Is that who you're talking to, me? Y yes, hello, I'm talking to you. Yes. Okay, hi. Do you not want me to talk to you? No, 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 no. That. And then the kids skate by and laugh at her again. She's like, they're just... Michelle's going to react like she thinks they're laughing at her. Okay. Great. How does that, what's that look like? I think it's like the thing where it's like, like you can see hurt and then they try and be cool and like, like she like tries to like, <laughs> I wasn't looking sad. I was just brushing my hair back <laughs> and scratching my eye a little, something like that. Like the, the very bad, <laughs> like very clear, like, oh. Oh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Do you I think like she a... definitely has, like, a shock of black hair over her eye. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have, like, a bug up your shirt or something? You just got, no. like, really jumpy. I, I... Kids make fun of me a lot when they skate by and they say stuff. And... Oh, I promise you they're making fun of me. I... Well, see, we have something in common already. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't... Why would they... I mean... It doesn't seem like you have anything they would make fun of. People think I have... People think I have a crush on... Have you ever seen that cool girl Daphne? People think I have a crush on her. And they were making fun of me for that, and I don't have a crush on her because I'm not gay at all. I just think that she dresses really neat. Have you ever met her before? Like... You know Daphne. Daphne goes to school. Daphne is the trans British exchange student. She is hard to miss. Okay, I don't normally have an advocate for lying, mm -hmm. but I think we need to lie this time. And we, but just, we do know Daphne. I know, but tell her like we think she's cool too, but she doesn't know us. Is that a lie? We do think she's but, cool. Um, Daphne is like really cool. She is really cool, but she doesn't know us. I'm not just saying that because I also play her as a character. <laughs> I actually think that like it makes sense that I think she's really cool because she's like everything I wish I could be, and we should all be. Like, we should all be as cool as Daphne. See, if, that's why I don't understand why if Daphne can be who she is, why can't we be who we are? Yeah, and Daphne's a doer; she gets stuff done. But Daphne won't talk to us because we're not cool enough. Daphne talks to us. Is that true? I don't think so. I like to. I, well, okay, out of that was my I like interpretation. To imagine that it's things where like one like. The way like you might sometimes like does that yeah. person think I'm cool? They like they like me. They like she's yeah. being nice to me. So I think maybe like part of your personality thinks that she really likes you, and part of you thinks she just does not know who you are at all. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. very real to me. Yeah. So I, I have to decide for sure one way or the other. Yeah, I also want to say as a trans woman, Daphne would absolutely know what was up with Kurt. Oh yeah, <laughs> Daphne just sees like it's like a, a cartoon with the with the pork chop. Yeah. It's, yeah. Daphne sees a pair an egg with a pair of arm warmers yeah. walking around. <laughs> oh no, you were right. Okay, because. Daphne would know Michelle. Yeah. Not okay. Not not. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, you're right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Daphne would know Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Daphne uh, an egg walking around. This is previous <laughs> to that. We're yeah. like yeah. the before time or Playing alternate time. Movies. I don't know. Yeah. This, this multiverse thing is it's very confusing yeah. after being at yeah. work for twelve hours straight. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I have a, a class with 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 Daphne. Oh. So they, uh, she she probably knows me. Maybe I I think we worked on a group project one time. That's good. Fake it. 
<laughs> just not faking it. We actually worked on a group project together. Well, we did a group project, and Daphne hey. kind of was just like cool during it. Yeah, I, I agree. She did not pull her weight on that project, but she probably would. There's like an 80 She probably teacher. would have, but you decided to do all the planning yourself and didn't even call her because we were like, because I was like, we should call her. And then the two of you were like, oh, I don't know. It might be really weird at school if we call her and see if we're seen hanging out with her. Well, we might have missed I agreed. We should have called her. And then we should have done all the work for her so she'd like us. Which is what we did do. I know, but then we didn't tell her we did all the work for her. So... She figured it out when she got an A on the project. Yeah, there's still like a 55% chance that she knows who we are. <laughs> I'd say more like 45, but... Well, we did get an A. Let's pretend it's 55 and see if we can get hey, this girl to Maybe like we should us. like stop. Maybe we should like talk to this girl. I think yeah, she's talking. Her. She's been talking. Oh, we but... haven't listened to a word she's oh. been saying. I feel like oh. this is also like instantaneous. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the time in like the real world, she's like, Oh, I, yeah. I agree with you normally, but I do think it's funny that yes. we went into our own head thinking about something, right. and then we realized this girl was talking. Yeah, yeah, it's only been like 20 seconds, but it's enough that <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. you have zoned out. Oh, we got bit. distracted. Uh -oh. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's, it's going great, everybody. So, yeah, I, like if you could just tell her I don't have a crush on her, Um, but I don't know if she actually knows me. We met the one time at the thrift store. My name's Melody. Do you know me? My name's Melody. My name is Melody Inkwood, and I live um out on like a farm way out on the edge of town. And like my family to homeschools, and we go to um Brooklyn Church. And, um, you know, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's my name. I'm Melody. And you're her, her, her. Uh, uh, hello, Melody. Um, I, I could try and tell her that it, it might be really worse though. Like just like looking at this from a problem solving point of view, this may actually make the problem worse if a very distant acquaintance of Daphne's goes up and suddenly starts talking about you. Oh, you don't think much about Daphne, do you? Well, I don't think Daphne thinks much about us. Yeah, that's the, the, the bigger concern. But maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe, maybe if we, we were a stronger... Because Daphne's so cool, and we could be, like, really cool with Daphne. That would be friend. a very beneficial decision, yes. You know what would have made like, Daphne our friend? Did. If we told her that we did all the work so she didn't have to. Maybe Daphne has, like, access to hormones and stuff, and we could, like, become her friend, and then she could tell us how we could get some. The project thing might be a very good first step before we tell about Melody having a crush on her. Or not having a crush. I'm sorry, we're supposed to not... Tell her. I feel like if we just say, hey, do you know Melody? She doesn't have a crush on you. <laughs> have the exact opposite effect. This is what I'm trying to convey oh, to yeah. Melody. I don't get the sense that Melody's really like good with these situations. Or maybe we should try to convince Melody to actually talk to Daphne herself. Oh. That would be very But efficient. we could like make sure we also talk to Daphne with Melody and like make a new friend group. Well, we can make the introduction. That sounds great. Yes. Let's do I know. That. <laughs> I'm in favor. I vote yes. Let's vote do yes that. Well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I don't think I am the appropriate person to deal with this. I think feel, maybe making community should be the person to do. Can I just do that? Yeah, go okay. for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, okay. First things first, let's start with a hug. So, people listening at home, I just handed the ring <laughs> to Adam, who is community making at uh, Michelle. It's like it's like in Hercules where the fates pass the eyeball over. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Hey, uh, I'm expecting somebody to stop me from just like reaching out and doing a hug. I was like, no, consent, I really, consent. I really, I really oh, want to hug her. Oh. Well, I mean, ask her first. But you okay, know, uh, I really want to hug her. Melody, um, well, you know, we just couldn't help but notice your you. You know, don't 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 speak in plural. Where it's one person. Uh, I just seem to notice uh -huh. that you could use a friend right now, oh, and I can be a friend. You. Thank you. That's really yeah. nice. Um, roll me whatever your charm is. I do uh, think moving forward, if we accidentally say we, we can just yeah, assume yeah. that the body, because yeah. the body is just a person yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. We are a conceptual yeah. concept. We're not former shells and fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that also is I feel like. If we get that far, it might feel like it, it uh, yeah. uh, insensitive portrayal of DID, which of course oh, we're not yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, like, This is much yeah. more like Inside Out, where we are inside Riley's body, and Riley is still a human yeah. being with thoughts and feelings. So yeah, I just want to yeah. make sure we like verify that. Yeah. So I'm pulling up my character sheet. Yeah, that's a really good point. Okay. But yeah, let's. Uh... If you want to just uh, guess what your charm type. <laughs> trying to remember, I think it was pretty. I think it was. I think it's my D6. Yeah, okay, I roll think that. It was I'm pretty sure. sure. Yeah. One of my higher ones, so I yeah. think it's probably mid-range. Oh, a six. Ooh. So, yeah, it explodes. Ooh. Do it again. Ooh. 
Oh, look at that. A three. That's a nine. I don't think you are. I think. I think you should actually have a hot. Moving forward, you should roll higher for charm because your community, which means you oh. would be the person who would be like talking mm -hmm. to you. Right. Like that. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, she like hears all of this and she's like, I mean, my parents don't let me come into town very often. I'm just here on a church oh. party, but like, I could maybe like give you a phone call sometime or we could like, do you have a landline? Because that's all we have. We just have a landline. Do you oh, have a landline? Oh, sure. We have one at home, of course. They won't let me have yeah. a phone. They say that it's dangerous oh. if I have a phone. And if I have a phone, that's a problem. So we just have a landline. But I could call you on the landline. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can call me on the landline. I'll write your phone number down. Okay. And and I'll write my phone number down. And then you can call me. And you can give me your phone number. And I can call you. You just have to promise that you're not going to try to, like, kiss me or anything. Because that's what my parents would not like. They would not like that. Because they don't like if I hang out with boys and they kiss me. Oh, Oh. Well, now I want to kiss her. <laughs> I didn't before, well, but she put it in my head, and now I'm thinking about what it's like you know, to kiss a girl as cute as she is. I mean, I don't know what to do Well, she did say not to kiss her, and that would be the right thing to do, is to honor that wish. I know, I and understand. it does sound yeah, awful like, fun. So all we have to do is Look, make I'm her want us. I'm like the existence of consent. Yes. Right, The right. problem is, like, making her want to kiss us. Right. Let's solve that. Well, you know, I'm a very nice person, and I would never try to kiss you without asking you first and giving you the ability to say yes or no. Enthusiastically. Enthusiastically. And she goes, <laughs> you know, I just want to be friends, gosh darn it. Okay. Okay, I'll be friends. Yes, we can be friends. That sounds yeah. great. And yeah. um, then she gives you a hug. Um, that worked. I told you it was going to work. No, no, the say, problem was kissing. We wanted kissing. I'm going to put out there that she seems to like girls. So we'll just saying if we want her to kiss us, maybe we should like make ourselves be girls. Well, that sounds like something Problem Solver would say. Yeah, but I, that's what I think. I don't disagree with you. I don't uh, think any of us disagree. It's just a process. The uh, kids from the church skate by again and they see you hugging. They go, oh, oh, oh Millie, why are you hugging that weird kid? Oh. Okay. Well, better to be hugged by a weird kid than not hugged at all, I have to say. Got him. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Problem solvers just writing down on the list of all the problems that just were caused. Uh, right, right thing, Michelle. I want to hear what you think about the, these, <laughs> these kids who are being bullies to this new friend of yours. Yeah, uh, very much wants to go and throw down. Like, wants to... Defend our new friend and, in essence, defend ourselves. So you think the right thing is physical violence? A little bit. Oh, at this point, at least go and confront them about it. If well, they then take we are in agreement. The face, then they take a skate to the face. I mean, we could knock a little sense into them. I'm all for being nice, but when people can't be nice, you got to tell them why it's not good for them. Do you want to take over the body and try to make that happen? I think I do. <laughs> but if we go beat up one of those kids we're gonna have to leave melody alone to go do it yeah but then she'll see us be like really cool and protective and then she'll want to be our friend even more also we don't have to necessarily throw hands we could just call out after them and tell them to knock it off and defend ourselves with our words we could say a mean thing about their moms well i sort of did that already hey knock it off <laughs> you really you kind of just made fun. okay Oh, no. I'm sorry, Melody. I, uh... Why are you laughing at us now because you said knock it off like you were one of their librarians? There's so many problems starting. <laughs> the to-do list is so long. I just don't think it's very nice when other people are mean to other people. I agree. So we should go do something about it. I'm all for it. Okay. I mean, I have the concept of being me. I'm all for doing something about it. Okay. Well, Melody, um, if you write that number down... I'm going to go talk to those boys and tell them that it is not a good idea to be so mean to people. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's really nice of you to do. Thank you. Well, you know what? It's the right thing to do. See, I threw that in there just for you. <laughs> Um, uh, it's weird because you're not letting letting her control herself. Though. If you want to go, if you want to be the one to roll yeah. intimidate, that'll be like Thrawn, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Handed, yeah, the ring is being passed past me. Yeah, the ring is now been passed Joey. to Joey. Yeah, okay. Thrawn is my high stat. Do you hear that die? It's a high stat. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, that is an eight. Okay. Eight. Well, you know, we automatically succeed. So sure. this is like, you're just a, you're like intimidating enough to get them to back off, but like, not that, like, they're going to start making fun of Melody again the second you're out of the room. But what, 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 what do you do to convince them <laughs> that, yeah, yeah I get away? I put myself in between Melody and them and call after them. You know, it's not, oh, let's try that again. Um, take two. <laughs> You know, if you got a problem with her, then you got a problem with me, and I'll make you sorry about it. Oh, so many problems. <laughs> You're gonna make me sorry? This is big, burly, youth pastor-looking kid. <laughs> You're gonna make me sorry? He turns the chair backwards and faces this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid of you. He goes, all right, fine. Go hang out with your girlfriend. She's weird. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> you can tell I'm a really, really strong person in real life. I'm mm -hmm. pulling from a lot of real life experience on this. I, I don't want to take the ring, but I think in my mind what's happening right now in the head is that true self is like fighting with all she has to be given the body and everyone else is holding her back. And yeah. It's like, yeah. Hey, we're going to try every way except being ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's the true clear I think, I think, experience. I think <laughs> there's a muffle of her saying like every possible obscenity and horrible thing, and like yeah. talking about like, oh yeah, you think I'm a weird kid now? I'm gonna go raise demons and and and, and, actually, and like attack your whole family with possessions and all these things, and you guys are fighting with every ounce to not say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, trying, don't be don't be the scary goth kid. These people, yeah. Right. So you now have Melody's phone number. You can call her anytime you want. Awesome. We are going to switch scenes, and I want to ask each of you in turn, what is a way you have considered finding a way to be Michelle to the world at large? It can be as realistic or as unrealistic as you like, and uh, whoever has an answer, go for it. I was going to just call on people, but that seems... Uh, unusual. I say we just go for it. I don't know why we have to have <laughs> such a plan. I think like I think we have such a cool collection of clothing that we bought for like a really good price at the thrift store. Some stuff we shoplifted because people weren't looking and it was like there and it was cute and I didn't have any money on me. But I think we just we just put up and out there. Our hair is already kind of long and femme anyway. So why don't we just just kick the door open and say, Hey everybody, it's me, it's Michelle. Okay. Let's do it. Well, and I got to say, if we could wear black lipstick, why can't we wear red lipstick? That's what I'm saying. Well, I I got to tell you, you know, this this whole thing with Melody just gives me a, a whole lot of new confidence. And, you know, the thing is, is if we can just march right up to Melody and say hi and make a friend, then maybe we can do that to other people, too. And so maybe what we need to do is just start making friends with people who are going to let us be who we know we are. Okay. I kind of agree with true self, but maybe just temper it down a little bit and just be instead of making a big announcement. Because really, the right thing to do is to just be who we are, and then we can be an example to people. If we make if we make a big deal out of it, then other people are going to see it as a big deal. Well, but I didn't say make a big deal out of it. I said kick, you the, said door kick open. the door open. Right, if the door closed, then I'll open it. Or you could use the handle. <laughs> I'm like boring about it. I didn't mean we need like rent a bullhorn or something. Problem solver. We want to be successful with this. This is very important to us. So we want to make sure that we do do things to make it successful because if it's not successful we're never going to get out of this town probably or at least not for a very long time we're going to have to live with it so yes i agree with all of you but i want to make sure we do it the right way so that we we are successful with it and it solves problems so just making problems and that so we can be happy i'm just saying we've been compromising a long time and we're like oh we're wearing black nail polish and black lipstick and we're looking all cool and goth but that's not who we actually are it's all compromise and your father does make you take it all, all take it all off when you get home like he's mm -hmm. he's unhappy about that he's he's not he knows he can't stop you but he's unhappy he confiscated her eyeliner we can't even wear the eyeliner anymore um, so I am hearing all of this and hearing two plausible plans. You could go to the library and do research, or you could go to the thrift store and buy stuff and or look for Daphne, who you know hangs out there. What do you think you want to do? 
Who's got the ring? You have the oh, ring. Oh, I still? got the ring. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Let's go to the thrift store. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the thrift store for sure. I Thank think you. that yeah, the, being friends with Daphne is a really good good plan. I like this plan. I'm gonna solve a lot of things. Tags. We got twenty dollars in our pocket. Absolutely, we can get some really good outfits. <laughs> That's fair. I should go. <laughs> and she's they, got a really cute fashion sense, and she can help you know. Guy us in the right direction. Well, no one dresses cooler but Daphne. That's true. Well, you know, you don't make friends with the library. Well, you make you friends can. with the fashion club. <laughs> we, made, we have made some pretty good friends with the library. I mean, they're all in books, so that's They're not imaginary. Well, no, some of them are online. We can be whoever we want online. Well, to be fair. Let's play Dungeons and Dragons at the library, and that's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh. Since Dad won't let us play at home, and I like to go there to play the games. Yes. Well, Dungeons and Dragons is sure a lot of fun. So, you are going to the thrift store. When you get there, um, you see that uh, Caitlin Inkwood, uh, spelled with an E, is uh, working behind the counter. She is the cousin. You know the Inkwood name well enough to know that there's two branches. There's the ones who live out in the country. Melody belongs to, and then there's the ones who live here in town and are like used car dealers, so they have like a lot of money. And that's Caitlin, and she's like mm-hmm. flipping through her smartphone and kind of distractedly chewing bubble gum. Looks up, says, Hey, welcome to the thrift store. Oh, gosh, be cool, down. be cool. And you can see in the back of the corner of the store, occasionally furtively looking up at Caitlin, then looking away immediately is Daphne. Uh, Daphne Morgane from. The United Kingdom, Daphne Morgane from England, Daphne Morgane from the home of what used to be your favorite books, the Harry Potter books. <laughs> but uh, you stopped liking those for some reason recently. Um, yeah, but there she is. She's just, you know, looking through really cool, like, leather jackets and, like, occasionally looking over at Caitlin. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the scene that you were in in the thrift store of Wausau, Wisconsin. We're going to call it the... Um, St. Joseph's Thrift Store. It's attached to the Catholic Church. <clears throat> That's okay, remember what we practiced. We're just going to go right up and say hi. Well, yeah. That's the right thing to do. Okay. Well, we, should gonna... take, we should take that top and look at it. I think we'll go right in her bag and no one would notice. Well, I think we should actually just compliment the thing she's looking at. Well, first we should just make sure that everything looks okay. Like, like Let's find a mirror real quick and then we'll go over there. Can I help you find anything? Caitlin asks. Uh, no, I think I think I'm good. How are you? You're right. I think that we have like sociology together, maybe. Yeah, we do. We have sociology together. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, what did you just ask me? How are you? How's it going? I mean, I'm okay. A little high. Just a little high. Well, you know, doing drugs is a good way to be. <laughs> I mean, we look like someone who would do a lot of drugs. And I think, I mean, we have occasionally, so I think it's not Makes a you relax. Yeah, I like it. We, we, should see so what, we should see what she's on first. Hmm. Well, I don't necessarily think it's any of our business, but... Uh, well, whatever. you can ask her if she's got any, and then we could share some. No, could, like, wait, mm, it's mm. kind of a good opener. <laughs> we're, we're here for Daphne. Yeah, Caitlin's not right. the person we're here to meet. Oh, right, right. Uh, whatever it takes, get through the day. Right, but but I think that Daphne has a crush on Caitlin, so if we seem cool to Caitlin, maybe we'll seem cool to Daphne. And also, I just really want to get high, so if we have the option to do that, I think we should. Yeah, but I don't think right now is the time to get high when we're trying to talk Every to time is the time to get high? What do you mean? We'll be cool and relaxed and we'll be so anxious, and then I can Why? probably drive if we get high, so... Yeah. <laughs> well... Let's stay focused on Daphne. I definitely think that when we're, we're like, high or impaired, that's when I'm, like, in charge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 Very that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm in agreement. I think we should get high. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it makes you really cool. What if we see if Caitlin and Daphne want to go do drugs with us and have an orgy? Yeah, sounds great. Well, I mean, let's go slow, but orgy is I, definitely I'm, I'm the say, next goal. Based on the age group, this is that I say have a makeout party. Have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a makeout oh, party. Now that's been like, the bottle. Oh yeah, we can watch pillows. them make out and just hang out. 
Or, or we, we can, can make, make out, out with both, with both of, them. of them. And Melanie, too. Well, well, they're cousins, so those two probably would. Right. Do you ever just think about how, like, magic must exist? Like, it has to, right? Okay, okay. You've got to get the drugs that she's on. Okay. I'm really good. Okay, so, like, we live in a multiverse, right? And if this is a multiverse, then there has to be a universe where magic is real. And we just don't live in it. I feel like this might be a trap. Like, I feel like she might be trying to get us to say something embarrassing. Like, while, she, while she's talking like this. Yeah, she, yeah. She's, she's yeah. just going on and, like, just kind of repeating the same idea endlessly. So just, yeah. You should ask her if she saw that cool movie with the woman from Crouching Tiger in it about the multiverse. And then she'll, like, think we're cool because we saw, even though we didn't see it, but we could probably make up that we saw I feel it. like we need to know the name of that person before we do it. What's the name of that person? What's the name of that person? What's the name of that? She's okay. Like, she's the captain from Star Trek. Yeah. Um, don't tell her that part. No. That's that's an interesting oh, we theory. Watch later. Her name is Michelle, actually. Yo, that's a. I mean, that's yo. a. That's a cool theory, Caitlin. Yeah. Um, maybe you, you should talk about that in sociology class. I bet it'd be a really interesting topic. I should. I should do like you know the big paper. Yeah. Should I do my paper on that? Totally. Oh yeah. my gosh, we have the big paper. We have to do. <laughs> Okay, you sit back and think about that paper, and we're gonna do all. We're gonna get high. No, we got some time. Let's do some drugs. No, no, no. Yeah. We have to go talk to Daphne. Maybe no. Daphne doesn't like drugs. We don't know. Oh, there's no way out. Daphne doesn't like drugs. She's too cool to not like drugs. Well, we won't know until we go and talk drugs. to her. Yes, we. All right. Okay. Everybody who's cool loves drugs. I feel like that's not accurate, but it's possible. <laughs> we have more information. Is what we need. I'll okay. see you around, Caitlin. Daphne like clears her throat very loudly and like looks at. Caitlin and then looks at you with a sneer and then <laughs> looks back down because she assumes you were flirting with her oh. love interest. Right. We were, but we oh, like, crap. Like a, all, all hands on deck. Right. Yeah. You just throw spaghetti so no, at the wall became, and see what sticks. Like pure id at this point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. By okay, the way, the hardest I've ever had to role play is something I didn't know yeah. Michelle's yeah. Yo's name. <laughs> <laughs> the least I've ever been myself in a character in my life. Um, yeah, we will, um, ooh, I'm going to reach into my backpack and uh -huh. get a breath mint. Okay. And offer it to Daphne as a way of, like, for, you know, sometimes it helps with the cough, because she cleared her throat. Okay. Oh, right. this doesn't work out Problem solver's well. just glaring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me charm. Oh, maybe she'll think that she, we want to make out, and that would be great. <laughs> That would be the best. Case That's cocked. Yeah, it's very cocked. It's still well, a one. It's yeah. a one. Oh, Destiny oh, did not want she to go well. She takes <laughs> the breath, man. Puts it in her mouth and says, "So you think I have bad breath, then? Do you?" Oh no, 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 no! Oh, it was no. I just you, you cleared your throat, so that you had a cough. So it's what I do when I have a cough. That's why I have oh, them because I have asthma. Bad. So when I have a cough, it's really bad. What do you think of this? And she holds up a. Uh, uh, a shirt that says, I'm a Garfield woman, don't wake me on Mondays, and has Garfield on it. You think this would look good on me? Tell her everything looks good on her. Everything, everything will look good. This is a very good, yeah, you should take, 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 yeah. Oh, you know what you should tell her? Is that it looked good on her, but it would look even better on your bedroom floor. No, <laughs> no, 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 can't, no, no, no. can't say no, that no, to no, people. Oh, well, why not? It's You're, clever. You're really found with this character. <laughs> You know, right. go with everything that would look good on you. You're very on, on anybody else. I don't think it would work, but I think you could really pull it off. Oh, that was a good say. Yeah, that I one was have, good. I don't know. That sounds like a passive aggressive way to call somebody. I think that's like saying, "Oh, yeah, you guys, you can make it work." Yeah, you really. Uh, oh, now I slipped into Wisconsin. <laughs> so you think that that uh, you think that uh, I would be the kind of person who could wear something like this with your Garfield on it? You know, we have. A version of him in Britain. We call him Chauncey. <laughs> he hates Tuesdays. <laughs> Chauncey, the vagabond cat. He hates Tuesdays. He loves eating beans. <laughs> That's beans, so beans are more cultured beans. and cool. I like to imagine that Chauncey is more like normal, and then there's like a yeah. there's a cat that Chauncey hates that is like a cat, like yeah. Garfield. <laughs> So why are you here? Why are you talking to me? Oh, well, uh, we're, we're, I'm here just... I'm Southern, apparently, now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just here just uh, shopping and, oh, and trying to get some, some new things, and I saw you were over here, and, and I know you have a really cool sense of style, and thought maybe we could 
bond over that because I have a cool sense of style. We worked on that project together, right? Oh yeah. About which I mean, you did the project and I got a fairly good grade she on remember. it. Remember, hundred percent that she remembers us. That's the new data. <laughs> Tell her we have another project we can work on with her if she's interested. Oh, that's a good one. That's clever. Now, go ahead. Say it. <sighs> We're almost friends. So. Oh, I was thinking something. Okay. I just <laughs> wanted to ask you. What are you doing here? Why, why are you stalking me? Are you following me around? Is that what's happening right now? No. You are looking at me a certain way and i'm gonna say daphne absolutely knows what she's talking about <laughs> and but also is like not gonna like out someone yeah so yeah. but mm. daphne knows what's going Daphne's on too awesome. yeah yeah tell her we just think she's really great i just we just want to i just think you're neat <laughs> yes of course well, thank you. Uh, well, tell her that that girl, Melody, doesn't have a crush on okay. her. Oh. But if she wants to, yeah. we could give her Melody's phone number because, well, maybe right. not that. Oh, yeah, we should. But, we should give her Melody's phone number and then get her phone number. And then she and Melody and Caitlin and we can play spin the bottle. Then we'll have three friends. Okay, but if we give her the number, then she's going to think that Melody has a crush on her, which Melody specifically said she does not. We should right, definitely... but she did it in the way that she wants to know. She wants to know she has a crush on her, but she can't admit it because of social mores. Yeah, but that's not our secret to tell. Yeah, it's causing problems if we give someone else's information to somebody else, too. We shouldn't yeah. not do that part. Um, um, tell her we're having a slumber great. party. I think it will go really well. And, and let's invite all for anybody. Yeah. Let's start with yeah. asking for fashion advice. I don't think that they're going to let us have a sleep bubble for three girls. So I was thinking maybe you asked you asked my opinion might not be into it because they're like really. I thought maybe I could ask your opinion, and so I'm gonna grab this a T-shirt first, and then I'm gonna grab like something that's a little more androgynous second, and kind of like test the waters in that way, sure, and see if we're picking up what we're putting down. Daphne points at the um. It's a blouse, but like a like a like a like a man could anyone can wear anything. But in Wausau, Wisconsin, a man could probably get away with wearing this. And she's like, I think that would look very good on you. Well, let's try it on. That's so try exciting. It on. Try it on. Yes, put it on. Give Michelle the ring. I think we need to I, try I, this I, on. I think I'm not gonna take the ring. I think I'm not allowed to have the ring until we're coming out. Okay. Oh, okay. I think, oh. I think that if I was able to be in charge of the body, things would be very different. So or I think that I'm not sure. Or until we're high. Yeah. Or until yeah. we're I think high. if we're yeah. high, yeah. then I can be muted. But I, I think it's yeah. thematically, I think it makes a lot of sense that I cannot control the body. Yeah. yeah. I okay. That's interesting. I, I love that. I yeah. think with that compliment, I've kind of screwed my courage to sticking place. And I'm going to take up, you know, take it, take it in the dressing room, try it on, okay. get ready to come out of the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you know you can tell you can tell them it's a joke, but it's not a joke. It looks amazing. Oh my god! Right. Like this, this is happening. This is happening. Oh, I didn't know that. You know, Feels blouse's really button nice. on the other side. I thought it was just you know <laughs> weird. I thought it was British. Look what it does for a waistline. Right. That's so nice. Look at we have curves. Look at the problem solving. Problem solving. It's almost like shapewear. Yeah. <laughs> so when you step out of the dressing room, she's like, she she gives like just the barest hint of a smile. She's like. That looks really nice on you. You should get it. We should get it. We should get it. We should get it. Yeah, I I, I agree. I think... Steal it. I think it looks really good. Say no, thank you. Me. Thank you. Thank um, you. True self, Michelle, what happened when your dad found your box of clothes? He threw it out. He, he, actually, he made me throw it out. Mm -hmm. Piece by piece. And then I'm trying to think of like something... He also said something that I think I'm not going to describe as something more traumatic. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of like... Oh! No, I am gonna describe what it was. He made me go hunting with him uh, and mm -hmm. like be masculine and manly. Yeah. And, like it was I'm not gonna say what he made me do on the hunting trip, but it scarred me a lot. Mm -hmm. Did you did you pull an Emily St. James and just intentionally like miss every animal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he caught he caught me doing that. Yeah. And basically like even though that happened, he made me like clean and dress one of the things that uh, he yeah. took out so i still had to do something like gross and like and it was still yeah. like i mean i i just i just binged all of yellow jackets so this kind of gruesome stuff hey, is fresh in my brain yeah great and, show yeah uh yeah so daphne like looks over you and says oh that looks really nice on you so 
and she turns and browses the racks. When I was first thinking about trying on a different name, I had some friends just say it in my presence sometimes, just to refer to me. And, you know, it was just a handful of people that I knew I could trust who weren't going to tell anyone else and, um... Who weren't going to tell anyone else, and uh, I just thought it was a really nice thing to do for me that they were quite... What do you think of this? And she holds up, like, a dress that would look really good on her. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks really, really good. Like, you you could wear that dress anywhere. Right. Yeah. Anybody could wear that dress anywhere. Well, I mean, not... I mean, other people could wear a dress... I'm sort of thinking of the floor Michelle, answer, but Michelle. I know that that's not a good one. <laughs> tell her Michelle. Tell her name is Michelle. She asked about names. Tell her her name is Michelle. And I'm I'm doing that constantly in the background. <laughs> yeah. I, I was across the room when it happened, so and now I've been doing it. I've been doing it. You've been fighting yeah. me off since then. <laughs> well, say that we like the name Michelle. Oh yeah, yeah. Then we're not really committing to anything. We're just saying. What do you um? What do you? think of the name Michelle. Like, I think it's, you know, I don't know, what do you think like about it? Michelle Yeoh, star of the film Everything Everywhere All at Once, and also a Star Trek captain. And oh, also... that's, the... that's her name. That's the one. Yeah, these are best friends. <laughs> I really like the name Michelle. Do you like that name, Michelle? Yes, tell her yes. Tell her we like the name Michelle. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 Michelle yeah. likes Michelle. Yes. Okay, that's a nice name. This is so exciting. Oh my god, we did it. Remember okay, it. let's Any... tell everybody now. But tell Kaylin, tell Kaylin, tell Kaylin. I'm like, I'm not gonna do two in real life. I'm like violently changing. She said, tell it to friends. You're not friends with Caitlin. We could be. Caitlin knew we were Michelle. Daphne reaches out and puts a hand on your arm and says, Do you want me to call you Michelle? I will. Just yes. us. Just yes. Us. Yes, please. Yes. yes, please. And everyone else, too. It, it's not going to hurt. Soon, it's just her. Soon. Not, not everybody, but yes, her. Here, here. See how this feels. Okay. It's so nice to meet you, Michelle. Thank oh you god. for trusting oh me. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. It's happened. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And yeah. it goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> I am just beaming ear to ear, like in that, just letting it wash over me, that resolve moment of finally being seen. You should hug her, hug her, hug her. You know that her. moment in Tangled when Rapunzel is like outside and celebrating and then like drops into like dread back to celebration? I'm having that in the background with none of the dread. It's just <laughs> celebration. It's just me being up and down in the back of the head. Nice. The door to the store opens and in walks uh, a woman you know from town. She's like involved in all the community boards. Her name is Karen Jo. Um, she doesn't have an accent in this reel. She has a Wisconsin accent because I miss doing the Wisconsin accent. Um, and she looks over and goes, hmm. And she just like takes note of you sitting there. Um, but yeah, she's she's here and she is angrily sorting through sweaters because Christmas is coming. <laughs> wow, well, what did those sweaters do to her? <laughs> Out of character, a thing that I would not bring up in character, we are still wearing that and draw this blouse that we put. Oh, yeah. So oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. She yeah. steps. I don't know what those sweaters did to her, but I know her own sweater isn't doing anything for her. She steps closer. We should ignore that. Steps closer. Yeah. Steps closer. She's like, oh, you're Mark Vanderpool's boy, right? That's my dad. Uh, yeah. That's an interesting choice of outfit you have there. This is a dangerous situation. Give me the ring. Yep. Yep. It's time yeah. for problem solver. I, yep. Fix a problem. I'm going to tell a problem. her all the hoops. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> we got a problem. Don't pass it to True Self. <laughs> if it goes through was, True Self, he has a problem solver. I was the audience yeah. of the gag when I was pulling yeah. over here. I was taking over. Yeah. yeah. But it was actually <laughs> collaborative role playing. It's not a real thing. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Ooh. That's an interesting outfit you have on. Um. Yeah, I just thought, you know, make note of it. Just, uh, oh, you're that uh, weird uh, kid from Britain that came over, right? Daphne looks away and immediately, like, starts sorting through the t-shirts. Tell her she's not weird. Stick up yeah. for her. Stop. Oh, don't let her pick on her. I don't know if it's the right time for that, though. What? Tell her? No, you no. can't let her be mean to people. 
Yes. What if it was us? You have to stand up to bullies. Wouldn't you want a bully to be stopped if it was us? It well, can make things worse if she tells dad. She could. It could cause a lot of problems. For Daphne, too. So we're going to let ourselves be comfortable in order to let somebody else get hurt. Well, I just... Go ahead. It might cause problems for Daphne, too. I don't want us to say something that will make things worse for Daphne. I don't think that it's going to make it worse to not have her get picked on. Yeah, well, I see a lot of problems that could happen if this very influential adults <laughs> this is such a real thing uh -huh. that i am like I, i'm not yeah. x card level but i'm like oh god yeah, this is like I, so real for me yeah if we can step out of character for a second i could use just a moment to break because that yeah. that line of what did you say about um uh we're just gonna let we're, we're gonna stay comfortable just to let somebody else be hurt yeah. like that that was a real like triggering moment yeah, for me I'm sorry uh, no no it's fine it's it's not it's not one that i have forbidden or expressed to anybody it, it just it just really hit very hard it uh all of a sudden like like oh i have done that said that to myself so many times yeah. in my life and it and it, it was it's a and to me um you know from from my experience growing up gay uh you know as, as the gay kid in oklahoma like that was a real feeling, uh, a really serious uh, issue that I had to deal with in my head a lot. Yeah. And, and it was. Same. Like, yeah. 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 It, it's, it, it's fine. Like, we're just going to have to step back. And yeah, they're calling that kid a, a certain words. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I know I'm just like them. And if I defend them, then yeah. they're going to start calling me and those words. This moment especially, I think, is hitting that. And as I was saying it. I yeah. was feeling that way. And I think this especially feels so brutal because this same person was just so nice to us. Yeah. And right? was just yeah. so open to like us confessing who we are to yeah. her. And now we're throwing her under the bus. Yeah. And like yeah. that, yeah. it's like that moment in Luca when like the kids are taking the sea monster away and Luca's like, I, that's a weird kid, throw him in the water. Like, I, yeah. it's that like level of like, oh my God, we're the worst. And it's like, that's yeah. what trauma does to you. Yeah. 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 While we take this moment to decompress, I want to test a game mechanic I made up. Okay, right, so, yeah. uh, Joey, will you roll a d20? Kimmy, will you roll a d20? Since we're kind of dug in on two sides of the table. Yeah. And whoever mm -hmm. has the higher result will win this argument. <laughs> 19. Ooh, 12. Okay. No. So, Kimmy, tell me, what, tell me how you uh, solve this problem. I think problem solver Michelle... Uh, she she she's taking everyone into account, so she wants to defend Daphne, but she also like is very like concerned. Like Daphne is also a very vulnerable person in this community, mm -hmm. and pissing off like PTA bitch like is gonna like cause problems. <laughs> yeah. PTA bitches like oh my god, you don't want to fuck with those people. <laughs> um, but so she's gonna be like, yeah, Daphne is from London. And things are so amazing and cool there, much better than Warsaw. Okay, well, uh, you know, I hear they have terrible food in London, and I believe we have wonderful food here in Warsaw. I'd like the fish fry that we have every Friday night. There's no fried food in London. This <laughs> <laughs> not fish. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Well, we definitely have good well, cheese curds. Oh. Well, cheese and potatoes well i'm glad to see that you're making some friends she puts an emphasis on the word friends and says i should go continue looking i'm trying to get uh some clothes for my daughter yeah she walks off uh you should focus on natural fabrics and natural fibers we should just kill her <laughs> No. I want to kill her. I want her to be dead. No, not. If you can like find that. a way to not come back to us. <laughs> now, aren't you supposed to be doing the right thing? Right yeah. now, that feels like the right thing. <laughs> Daphne's Are you uh, okay, Daphne? Daphne's like, I'm, I'm fine. Listen, I don't have to live here for the rest of my life. So if you need to be cruel to protect yourself, it'll hurt, but I'll understand. Anyway. What do you think of this? She holds up a shirt that has Snoopy wearing sunglasses as Joe Cool. Well, does this work for me? Oh. I mean, you could pull it up. It's no. No, I, it's just, it's not Snoopy. Tell her she's too cool for Snoopy. 
Yeah, you're, you're way cooler than that shirt. Like... Yeah. Okay. Well... Would you risk hugging me? Yeah. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for. Okay. Can you give her a hug? Yes, 100%. You do give her a hug. Karen Joe clocks this, but like doesn't say anything. And then... I have a great idea. Let me hear oh. it. You should buy that hideous shirt and leave it on Mrs. Joe's doorstep. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Daphne uh, hugs you and says in your ear, thank you so much, Michelle. It was lovely meeting you. If only you can hear me. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Daphne. That scene's over. Do we need a moment? I do. Okay, okay. You're great. The yeah. thing she said about being cruel to make oh. the fuck that hit me so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, we can keep going. I just, I need to take a step. Yeah. That, that's how I was on that other thing. I just needed yeah. to take a step, just, just a couple of breaths. <laughs> yeah. oh, like, that was yeah. so goddamn real. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, that's why we're taking it. Yeah. Like, one of the, the amazing things about role playing with a really good group that yeah. you trust and love, like, sometimes you get super deep, but it's yeah. also, yeah. like, amazing. Yeah, I always think of one time on Twitter there was a thread about like a really emotional moment, and then somebody responded, "You guys play too hard," and maybe laughed oh. so <laughs> hard, like, right. it was such yeah. a good yeah. like tension burst of that. Yeah. Like, you yeah. guys play too hard. Yeah. Oh man, hey, nope. characters like stole a car. Like yeah. just leave nothing hey, there. Hey, you know we go hard at the game. <laughs> Um, we work hard, we play hard. Right. We're in a gay steel mill that our dad wants. <laughs> <laughs> what a poll. What an absolute poll. <laughs> it is always in the back of my mind somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. That and, hey, this lesbian bar is a death trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave early on fire. Said, Enjoy your death trap, ladies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, on the screen, fast forward yeah. through home life stuff that is not, <sighs> you know, uh, what you want to be focused on right we now. We know what life's like. Yeah. Yeah. Dairy Queen or Library? Where do you want to go? Do you want to go see if you can uh, get some, like, Dairy Queen? is it's october so it's about to shut down but Wait. it's open well, we for better another go week. we still can uh or you can go to the library and you know do some digging around dairy uh, queen we should go to dairy queen and get don't a dilly bar. Make friends with books we should go get a dilly bar we I'm, should get a dilly bar i'm gonna be super right. california do dairy queens actually shut down in the winter in some pla places they do interesting yeah if they yeah. don't have a, a brazier that has like, it's, food, yeah. hot food especially uh, especially like the one the, i'm picturing one that is outdoor yes. seating yeah. outdoor like serving a, like a little yeah. shack basically yeah. oh yeah. my god i love I imagine the dairy queen from waiting for government yeah. uh, <laughs> i want to have it all all non-dairy non-fat yeah. what is it yeah. Blizzard Blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, like non-fat yeah. non-dairy <laughs> low fat non-fat Blizzard. <laughs> now I'm just fishing quirky. Like, You're all bastard people. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go home and just buy my pillow. <laughs> that moved so much. All right. So, sorry. 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 Uh, okay. So where where do you want to go? Um, Y'all can decide. Dairy Queen. Yes. I want to go to Dairy Queen. Yeah. Let's get a Dilly Bar. Yeah. Let's Dairy get a Dilly Bar. Kimmy wants to get a Dairy Queen. Bar. Problem solvers. Like, library, library, library. Oh, I understand. Library. Yeah. No. I, think it's it's like cream, 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 cream. I think Problem Solver really loves going online because that allows uh like Problem Solver to like give in to be yourself mm -hmm. without causing other problems. Oh, I have so many like usernames yeah, and so many. It's forums. all like <laughs> like Michelle and all these different mm -hmm. things and like I feel like we have a very big online presence. It's like there's like mm -hmm. a whisk chick, W I S, like Wisconsin chick. Yeah. Like, yeah. All those oh things. Oh my God, my live journal is off the hook. <laughs> So Suddenly we're set in 1998. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I no, it's fine. Listen, the only way that we have confirm, <laughs> confirm, confirmed that it's 2022 is that everything everywhere all at once exists. And you know what? Maybe yeah. that just exists in 1998. That's what's different about this universe. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so you're going to the Dairy Queen. Are you going to mm -hmm. call anyone and try and meet them there? Oh, we should. We, we should, should call Melody. We should call yeah. Melody. We should call yeah. We got a new friend. Oh no, we didn't. You know, oh no, we didn't talk to Daphne. We didn't talk to Daphne. 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 Well, you know what? She told us not to, so we did the right okay, thing. But maybe we should tell Melody that Daphne's really cool, and she just tell her herself. All oh, right. Oh. Yeah. We should. Maybe we invite them both to hang out at Dairy Queen with us. 
I'm still thinking of the number party. Is, yeah. Yeah. We should that... tell Melody that Daphne like really likes this British cat named Chauncey, and then like maybe she'll buy like a cool Chauncey T-shirt, and that'll give them something they can talk oh, about. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe we should buy a Chauncey T-shirt and give it to them, and have them both wear it. And they're like, "Oh my God, we're wearing the same shirt." It'll be like sleep within Seattle. Well, except we don't have any money. Also, Daphne said, or uh, Melody said, she wasn't into Daphne. Why she are we trying lying. to fat people who aren't supposed to be together, apparently? She was clearly lying. She was blushing when she said it. God. Then why Remember how we, like, it's like when we say we don't want to be a girl when we know we are a girl. It's the same thing. We're making oh. friends together. We've talked to two hey, whole people let's, today. Let's we tell should... Dad we have a crush on a girl. Maybe he'll let us buy that shirt for her. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. That would that would actually work. <laughs> so maybe I'm the problem solver, apparently. <laughs> Do you want to go talk to your dad and ask for money? Oh, okay. Well, if we get money from dad, then we can also buy the t-shirt and get some Dairy Queen and Dilly we... Bar. Dilly Bar. Dilly Bar. Dilly Bar. I mean, that's pretty much the end of the argument right there. That's what I've been saying for a while, but no one listens to me, apparently. <laughs> I don't that... know. I think we should stop trying to rely on dad so much. Hmm. Well, yeah. Dad's kind of all we've got. So that's actually an interesting question. Is your mom alive? I'm almost feeling like no. Uh, but but that was just kind of like I, I I don't know. There was there was just and I don't have any basis in anything we've talked about or or established in the story mm -hmm. uh it just for some reason it just popped into my head that yeah. that it's probably single dad oh, yeah, i was like, thinking like, i was thinking we have a single like dad let me just pitch this yeah you don't have to go with it if you don't like it i think our mom left but our dad was like so insistent that we stay on like yeah she could not take us with her yeah and like and our, that's part of why our dad is like as cranky as he is because of like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um i do know that you have yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel like great. that works. Mm -hmm. I do know you have an older brother who is stationed overseas uh, in the oh, military. Right okay. So that's the that's the one thing I know about your family. Yeah. And you have a dad. It looks like the chief hexbreaker for some reason. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're going to go and ask him for money? Our mom's name is Emily Travell. No, I'm <laughs> Listen. No, I won't. Yeah, I won't no, make yeah. Cannon Beer story for you. No. Yeah, I like the idea that our mom yeah. left. I think that also like adds to our dad being kind of misogynistic. and. Excuse me. Oh, okay, you. so you're gonna go and ask him for money. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So he is sitting uh, at his desk in his office, like running. Oh, I'm gonna steal this ring too. That's sitting here. Yeah. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Can I have that? Running ring, the please? numbers on a little one of those little calculators that has like the roll of paper that comes out, yeah. and uh, he doesn't even look up. He says, "What is it?" Well, hey there, Dad. Uh, Actually, it's Michelle. Tell him it's Michelle. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I got the ring. Uh, never get the ring. Hey, Dad. Um, so I was wondering if maybe I could have a couple of dollars. Uh, I want to go to the Dairy Queen, and, and, and there's, this, there's this girl I like uh -huh. that I'd kind of like to buy her a shirt I saw at the thrift store. That I think she'd like. Uh huh. So, I was hoping maybe you might be able to give me a couple of dollars. Uh huh. So that I can go to the Dairy Queen with this girl. Uh huh. As you are dealing with him, you become aware that there are other parts of yourself that do a lot more, spend a lot more time dealing with him that are a lot more frightening, that are a lot mm -hmm. more frightened. So when you roll against him, you're going to roll at disadvantage, okay. basically. You're going to have an automatic minus one to whatever you roll. Yeah, okay. Um, that tracks. He looks at you and says, a girl, huh? That's what you said to get me to take you to the roller rink. What's this girl's name? Well, Melody. Melody, just, just Melody. say Melody. Just Melody. Melody. She, she Melody who? Inkwood. Oh, uh, Melody uh, Inkwood. She's a she's a homeschool uh, uh -huh. out on the Inkwood farm. She's kind of a church girl, so those Inkwoods think they're better than us. I don't know if I like you being with an Inkwood. No, tell her tell him it's one of the Inkwoods without an E. 
I don't know if it's going to be any better. Oh, yeah, it's it's those ink ones without the E. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, the ones that go to church instead of doing drugs. Uh, uh-huh. You should get some and, drugs. And uh, so, so, you know, I just think, it, you know, if if I did something nice, then, you know, she'll think that's pretty great. You think I'm just supposed to give you money? Well, I just don't have any other way to get some money. You could do chores around here. Instead, you spend all your time dicking around. Well, but wouldn't if you didn't make me have a dick. <laughs> um, uh, I, I I could do some chores. Um, you could ask for a list of chores, and we'll choose the ones that are the best. Oh God, oh, that's terrible. Remind but... me, how old is Michelle? Michelle's like sixteen. Okay. Yeah, but uh, uh I mean, you know, if you got a list of chores. That you want me to do, I could do them. And you want, I suppose you want your allowance in advance for that. Well, it's just that, you know, this is kind of a special deal. Uh huh. So I was hoping. Well, it's a good thing that you, uh, I was real worried about you. So I'm glad you have a girlfriend or something. So well, here, uh, here's roll, me, roll, roll me, uh, charm. Okay. Let's see how much money he gives you. Okay. That's a four. Okay. Minus one? Or, or yeah, minus one, three. So he hands you 30 bucks. Like, oh. Can wow. you, can you. Just like half a movie. We're kind of uh, short on cash right now. Is that going to be enough? Well, yeah, Dad, that's great. Uh, yeah, okay. I can take her to Dairy Queen and maybe even go see a movie too. Uh huh. Cool. Well, yeah. uh, good for you. I'm glad that you're yeah. finally shaping up. Like your brother. Oof. Uh, I throw up in my mouth. <laughs> what is our relationship like with brother? Um, you tell me. I think I think the relationship is okay. I think you don't have a lot in common. I think that in a world where Michelle doesn't somehow become part of a magic school, um, that the relationship with her brother is eventually he's one of the people she comes out to pretty mm-hmm. early on. So I think. There's a bond there, but right now it's strained by the fact that their father is this mm-hmm. black hole. Does it though. feel like our brother went to the military as a way of getting away from our dad? Uh, he before college. I mean, that's where that's where my brain went to is yeah. like brother's actually in the military because brother's super gay, <laughs> and this, that was the way to get away from dad. You know that you that you can't afford college, so this is a way to yeah, to do that, but also. Um, yeah, there is a real sense that he has joined the military to get very far away from home. So mm. he's stationed in Japan. Yeah, nothing bonds better than shared trauma. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hooray. Well, uh, well, thanks, Dad. Um, I'm going to go uh, give her a call and then hopefully meet up at the Dairy Queen. All right. So you're going to need another ride or can you get there on your own? Well, we can take our bike. Yeah. yeah we we got I'd rather take our bike. Yeah, say no to yeah. the ride. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my bike. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll be home later tonight. It's like every conversation I had with my dad where I just, like, did the Homer Simpson <laughs> sink back into the bushes. <laughs> right, yeah. No. You know, what we right, could do, yeah. since dad doesn't have any money, we should just start selling drugs. <laughs> oh, well, well, I don't know if we should start selling drugs. We should definitely get our own jobs. So we can get our own money so we can get out of this house. That's what I said. Well, selling drugs is a job, and both are really good ways to make friends and meet people. Right. But um, one is definitely going to, not definitely, but most likely we'll end up with, you know, dealing with the police. On right. the screen, you see uh, that Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen sort of uh, comes into view. Outside, in front of the Dairy Queen, is a local, uh, like, local jock tossing his sign, like, doing all the flips. But it's literally, like, and he's, like, doing just amazing stuff. That's Chandler Duke. He's a uh, second-string quarterback. Um, and uh, his grandma told him he's going to the NFL. And he tells everyone that. 
And he's uh, built a really cool course for himself around his sign tossing. Yeah. It makes it way harder to do than it should be. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he like, knocked out all the. Teams. He does like parkour off of books. Yeah, but he hits himself with yeah. his sign and yeah. knocks out. Right yeah. yeah, he's the only football player to get less concussions on the field than he does off the field. And he uh, he sees you and says, uh, "Hey, uh -huh. you had no idea that that Chandler knew you. Chandler's like oh. a really popular kid. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's saying hi. Hi. Hello." Uh you're here to celebrate the end of summer, right? And like he, he's wearing a coat because it's kind of cold tonight because it's October <laughs> in Wisconsin. Like, end of summer. Woo! Oh yeah, yeah. I know. It's it, yeah. Gonna have to put up the shorts pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it, I didn't know you worked here. Oh yeah. You know, just to make some ends meet. Uh, uh it's uh, I, I just really like Miss Travell. She runs the pole place. She's the manager here. She's oh, cool. She's oh. great. Yeah. You know her, right? Uh, well, I seen her around. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should. Uh, yeah. Give if they're hiring. Uh, oh, good idea. I uh, know. Are are you, very I mean, they're idea. probably not because yes. the thing is closing for the season. So, if they're not, if they're closing for the ceiling, I guess they're not hiring, huh? I mean, not right now. No, but like uh, maybe next, maybe next year. You know, we reopen in March. Like, yeah. I mean, it's worth applying. Uh, Mr. Vell's got a real. Soft spot for kids like us. Ask him what he's doing for a job now that this Kid, is closing. Kids like us? Ask him if he sells drugs. Yeah, you know, um, single parents. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, what do you do for a job after the Dairy Queen closes down? I play football. Oh. Yeah. I play football. That's he's what a I do. football player? Yeah. 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 Uh, I hear you're going to the NFL. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my grandmother was a little bit psychic. She told me, I'm going to the NFL, and I'm going to play for the Miami Dolphins, and I'm going to lead them to three straight Super Bowls. I'm going to get the key to the city of Miami, and I'm going to get to hang it up in my house, and I'm going to be married to Rene Russo. Yeah, there's a 0.030% wow. chance that actually happening in oh, that. However, how dare you peg my favorite football team from when I actually watch football. How dare you? Okay, it was well, every gay Dolphins. kid's favorite football team because <laughs> A, teal and orange, and B, <laughs> Dolphins. I used to be a big fan of the Dolphins because of that movie Ace Ventura, but then this started making uh, really sad at the end for a reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I don't know. I hear that uh, I hear that they're hiring down at the bookstore, I guess. Oh, the bookstore. Yeah. Good. God, yeah. I think I sell so many drugs from the bookstore. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. What Applebaum. Your drug habit. Ms. Applebaum down the bookstore. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I think she's hiring. Yeah. That's oh. what I heard. Okay. Well, we'll it's have to head drug habit. down there. Um, <laughs> Melody is coming. Hi. Oh, good. Melody's here. We can tell. We can make out with her. Hey, Melody. Right. Hey, there's. Say hi. There's Melody. Hi, Melody. Hey, say hi, baby. Hey. So the people think we're dating. Don't say that. No. Oh. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. I don't know who that is, but is like she, she your girlfriend? She's cute. Well, tell him, tell him yes. Let me people think we have a girlfriend. Well, uh, yeah, I think we're no, kind of going no, out. No, no. no. <laughs> Why are we no. lying? Cool. Because it's cool. Cool. People think we're cool now until yeah, they cool. find out we're and lying. He, no, they I don't mean, know because she doesn't go to our school. It's fine. You know, you could like. Uh, I mean, maybe we could double date sometime. Or I'm dating. Yeah. Ta I'm dating Taylor Bell. Do you know that? Uh, she is. Uh, looks just like Taylor Swift, but like. A little bit pretty. Oh, oh yeah. 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 She's pretty. Yeah. Sure thing, bud. Yeah. Um you ever thought like about her skin? I wonder what she uses. Yeah. You ever thought I about uh... smell her a little? Oh ever... no. 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 Should I say I shouldn't say that? No. no. Yes, you totally should. I bet I bet she smells great. <laughs> she she probably oh, does smell like... great, doesn't That's she? Kind of shampoo. <laughs> oh. Ask ask oh. what kind of shampoo she uses so we can get some for ourselves. No, 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 oh. no. Chandler uh, might punch so, us. Okay, uh, I might punch us. Yeah. Anyway, so, well, um, well, here's Melody. I better go get her yeah. a dilly bar. Cool. And, great. Yeah. Dilly, yeah. Bar. Great. dilly bar. Great. Dilly bar. Have dilly fun. bar. Great talking to have you, fun. Chandler. Yeah, have a great, have a great hey, night. Listen. Buddy, and I like, boom, fist bump. Pound it out. <laughs> boom. We just fist bumped. And yeah, I told you, I'm really good at this. Okay, hi, Melody. Hi. Hey. Okay. I'm sorry, we have to stop. What's a dilly bar? It's just, oh. it's just an ice cream oh. dipped in chocolate. Yeah. Like it's just oh. like, it's, yeah. it's just, 
Okay. It's okay. the first Dairy Queen thing I think of that wasn't a blizzard, so I thought it was really funny. Okay. It's pretty yeah. good. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. I just, by being pure id, I was like, yeah. sweet treat. Oh, yeah. Just say the name yeah. of the sweet treat yeah. over and over again. And they're super good. Like, Dairy they Queen are. ice cream is yeah. phenomenal. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Oh, okay. I just couldn't, like, yeah. 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 there's I'm definitely a Dairy Queen in her percent. I think yeah. it usually yeah. has, like, almost like a Q shape to it. Like, yeah. am I thinking the right thing? No, yeah, 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 they do. They're they're rounded. And I usually it, get yeah. blizzards, but. Yeah, I usually get blizzards with a dip cone. Yeah. It's kind of not unlike a Klondike bar where it has, like, a chocolate outer shell. I know what you're talking about now. It's an E word pie, is. Uh, huh. Yeah, that's, uh, but yeah. Hi, hi there. Uh, hi. hi there. Uh, so listen, do you know that Dairy Queen actually started in Minnesota? This is the thing that I do sometimes. I just call the library and ask them for questions about things. And uh, they told me that Dairy Queen started in Minnesota. They looked it up on the computer on the internet, but I'm allowed, not allowed to have the internet because we like don't even have a TV. Oh, wow. Well, we that's should... really interesting. And you should, you should, we should go to the library sometime because they have the internet there. And uh, I use the internet. I'm not allowed to go to the library. I can only use the library at church, but like, oh. would you take me to the library? Oh, we can yes. totally go yes. to the library. Well, yes. Knowledge is power. Oh, this is going real well. Okay. Um, I mean, they're close right now. It's like 7 p.m. Oh, but let's go behind the library. We could like go look in the windows and, you know, maybe sit around the library. The drugs. Do you want to go look in the windows of the library? Well, I mean, if you haven't been there abort, before, abort. Abort. This is going badly. Well, Everything you want to read is right in front of you. Go me. back to buying ice cream. Uh, uh, three. <laughs> I would. I like hanging out with you. I don't know if I want to go look in the windows of the library. That sounds kind of oh. weird. Can we yeah, like, just get some ice is. cream? Yeah, yeah. Two dilly bars, please. Okay. Or, oh, I should have asked you. I'm sorry. Do you um, want a dilly bar or I, something else? I would love, um, I would love a, a peanut butter parfait. If oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. here at the front, here at the 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 the, the rat cash register is uh, Emily Travell. She runs the uh, Dairy oh. Queen here in town. She's like, oh hi, hello, and um, oh, Melody, the, right? Mm, that's yeah, Melody. Yeah. I try to know everybody in town. You know. It's just how I am. She's You're so cool. This trip is so, so pretty. Thank you. Right. You should also try to get pushy with this because I bet it would be really good. I bet she, oh, right? Her. Look at her hair. It's like glowing. I bet she'd tell us and it wouldn't be weird. I bet we could ask. Probably. We also don't have the money to buy that shampoo. Right. But we could like make put it on a list of to-do things. We could just steal you know, it. You can go to the store and then you, if you just kind of gently like open the bottle and just gently squeeze it in some of the air smelling like the shampoo comes out and then you could smell the shampoo well it's not about smelling it it's about making our hair look cool and pretty like her so let's just steal it find out what it is and then we'll get it and we'll just put it in our backpack that it would solve the us. problem yeah. yes she we calls, would then have pretty hair she calls the order back yeah. while you're yeah. having this yeah yeah <laughs> so and then we'd smell good so people would like it just say more. say hey yeah. your hair is yeah. like really pretty you're... we're just curious behind what kind of hair product she uses okay your hair is really pretty and i'm just curious what kind of hair product do you use Thank you. I use Tresemme. Ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe it was Maybelline. <laughs> uh, I'm glad it's not that System B age because I try really hard, but I can't say it like they do. Mm. Yeah. I'm glad she doesn't use things with microbials on them because those things are, or microbials, you, those are bad for the environment. You, um, you, uh, are interested in like hair care? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think hair is great. My sister is a hairdresser. Uh, really? So I, she gets me all kinds of free stuff. I could give you some. Oh, that is a good idea. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell I her, yeah. she was the yeah. best. Tell her, yeah. Oh, tell her, that yeah. is just oh, so God. swell, Miss Travell. That you really are as great as everybody says you are. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Maybe you. Maybe your sister can give us a full time haircut. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, oh, oh, shoot. Oh, it's. Oh, we have an extra dilly bar. Do you mind if I give you two dilly bars in addition to the peanut butter? Oh, Buster no, birthday? I can't imagine. One, yes. Oh, my God. Tell her yes. Tell her yes. Tell her yes. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my we God, sure would like ever. an extra dilly bar because, you know, can't eat the peanut butter parfait. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Well, well here. I mean, it's we decided we're allergic to peanuts. Well, it's also not for us. It's for Melody. We right. We did eat it. But, but two dilly bars. I mean, that's that's better than everything. Maybe then we can show the Melody that the dilly bar is better. Oh, right. I mean, yeah. We're going to get a yeah. job and we're yeah. going to get we're going to get a hair care product and we're going to do right. drugs. This is perfect. Everything's coming up, Michelle. Um, do you want to ask her about a job? That is the thing I'm 
Oh, yeah. uh, you don't have to. I'm just like yeah, uh, you had yes. mentioned jobs, so yes, that, yes, my yes, brain yes. pinged. Yeah, I, I think we know they're about to close up. So, but maybe put in the application for when they open up again. Maybe she runs a hot chocolate oh, shop during the winter. Cool. So, and we can sell uh, drugs there. So, if I were gonna say need a job, you know, back, you know, when you reopen, like when should I come around and ask? Oh, uh, well, listen, you um, can turn an application in with me anytime. I also run the Christmas store. Uh, you know, that opens oh. in. That just opened. Um, my my husband, uh, Wendell, is currently running it. and uh, But we have that open through the first of the year, obviously. And then, you know, you can come in. We we, we used to open the Dairy Queen in March. Um, but Boy, yeah. I sure uh, do know, love Christmas. Uh, yeah. The well, shop has that weird school bus theme to it, though. <laughs> it, it works really well. You wouldn't think it would. Um, oh, Mr. Stapleton, our shop teacher, works there part-time, I think. Oh, yeah. Actually, Mr. Stapleton is here. He's uh mm. he's over at one of the tables with his family. He's like, oh hey. Well, hi there, Mr. Stapleton. How you doing, Arbor? Oh, I'm great. I'm uh, just just great. Uh this is Melody. Hi. We're just having a you know, having some ice cream mm. before you <laughs> shut before they shut down for the summer. We got for two the winter. dilly bars, two dilly bars, two dilly bars. Yeah, dilly go. dilly. Yeah. A double fist in here. Oh, right. oh no. Right. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Miss Miss Travell is like, but listen, if you need a job, I hear they're hiring at the bookstore. Um, oh, and they always need like custodial staff out at the out at the lab. Oh, okay. You know right. the lab. What kind of lab is it? Uh, this is a thing you would know. There is a lab outside of Wausau that is a government lab. Nobody quite knows what they do there, but it is rumored that it is highly experimental science. Mm. It is rumored that uh, sometimes in the middle of the night, people hear things just randomly going bang. People see bright lights, things like that. Um, it's uh, lots of people say aliens are involved. Um, aliens are not involved. That's yeah. well, you know, that's just silly. Yeah, very unless silly. you think that, then yeah, maybe it's not so silly. I mean, they're hanging there. They're hanging at the bookstore. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that you could find, but you, you know, you just are such a good kid. I'm sure you could find a job. Oh, thanks. I bet this Mr. lab Mal, has like access to really good drugs that we could then sell. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've got a lot of entrepreneurship and uh, ideas waiting. Okay. But, uh, well, I need to serve the next people in line. Here's oh, your peanut butter oh, parfait. Sorry. Come yeah. by any time if you want to talk about job opportunities. Ah, uh, thanks. You're just the best. You're just the greatest. Thank uh, you. Thank you. I'm very beautiful. <laughs> When they ran so my wedding, how we we got on that second delete bar, and we told got told we can get a job at the Christmas store, the bookstore, or that weird lab. Isn't that great problem solving, Michelle? It's fantastic. I bet you were so glad you heard all that happen. <laughs> this is why you don't take bathroom breaks in the middle of the game. I was I was just helping you know when you missed it. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, it's it's just a nice night at Dairy Queen. Is there anything else you yeah. want to do here? Or... I want to kiss Melody. Okay. The problem solver isn't against any of those jobs, actually, because she sees how like they would be advantageous in many different yeah. ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, I think this is this is our time. This is gonna be great. And, uh, this is our time. Okay, tell everybody that we're Michelle. Okay. Tell everybody we're Michelle. Tell everyone okay. we're Michelle. Well, let's ask ask Miss okay. Travell if they're if they hire uh, trans girls. No, no, no. I feel like we should take Daphne's advice. And tell a trusted friend. So maybe we just tell Melody first and see what happens. Maybe when we're walking her home. Yes. Like okay. quietly, just privately. Okay. I got a really weird idea here. Oh, no. And hear me out. Okay. But we just had a dilly bar. Oh, no. We're having a really nice conversation with Melody. Yeah. There's just so just so ice cream in the dilly bar. And we got two dilly bars. So we got a free one from Mr. Travell. Um, yeah, which you were here for. As the resident authority on making friends, and, and and making connections with other people, I'm gonna have to make an executive decision. Oh no! We're gonna tell her. Okay, so we're at, at this point. Are we already at the? So Adam, where do we end up going? Yeah. Are, okay. I'm yeah. Gonna, uh, I will give you a few options. Well, let's, let's oh. describe what happened first. Sorry, okay. yeah. So Adam, who is community desire, Michelle just handed the ring to Riley, who is true self, Michelle. 
there I give you a couple options. There is a uh, table at the very edge of everything. It's kind of set back. It's a little bit in the dark, but there's still light filtering down. Or um, uh, uh, Melody actually lives out in the country, so she would have to go meet her parents for a ride, but you could walk down a little bit and like be in a more private spot. Okay, I think we'll yeah. do that. That way we can mm -hmm. continue the same scene that we're already in. Okay. So I think we probably have chatted for a little bit and mm -hmm. talked about like like movies we like and stuff like that, like typical kid stuff. And then I think, I think at one point I'm like, so I know we just met and we're like just becoming friends, but mm -hmm. like I feel like yeah. if we're going to become friends, I should tell you something now so yeah. that like you don't learn about it later and okay. think that I was like lying to you. Okay, is it that you don't really believe in God? Because I don't really believe in God either. <laughs> oh, I have lots of thoughts on that topic. <laughs> I feel like that's a whole other to me. Okay, all um, right. Okay. I like her. <laughs> Actually, honestly, you saying that makes me feel like a little bit better telling okay. you what I was going to say. Okay. Which is fun. that I want to sell you drugs. Uh, I, think, <laughs> no, I think that, um, so, you know how, like, okay, um, I just realized, like, I don't know how public... Daphne being trans is the people who don't go to our school. So I don't know if I want to out Daphne to this person. I think Melody, Melody did say, right? kind of, Yeah, they, Melody, like, Melody implied that she knows. You also can just, like, you can talk around it if you want. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you know how when I met you, I told you what my name was? Yeah. What if I told you that, like, sometimes in my head, I call myself Michelle? Like Michelle Yo. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Have you seen everything ever all at once? No, because I can't watch movies, but like sometimes oh. I call the library and they tell me about people who are famous. <laughs> well, you know, I have synopsis of the movie. I could probably like get a bootleg of it and we can like watch it on my phone sometime if you want to do that. So okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. You said that so sometimes you like people like you think that your name could be Michelle. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, like, I, I told, like, our mutual friend Daphne, I told okay. her about it, and then she was like, oh, yeah, like, that's kind of what, like, hi, Michelle, she said to me, and then, like, that was, like, a good conversation, and then she was like, well, maybe, like, it's good if you tell your friends, but I don't really have, like, a lot of friends, but, like, I feel like you and I are becoming friends, and so I just thought, okay. like, maybe I would tell you that I'm a girl, my name's Michelle. This is going great. Give her a chance to respond. It's okay if you don't like me. It's fine. It's like whatever. I just wanted to like bring it out there and like say it, but I think you're freaked out and I think it's fine. And I like her to get up to go away. Yep, that's accurate. Yeah, that's yeah, she's, that's she's, how she's, life really is. She just, it was just kidding. I was just like a prank on you. She up and takes your hand. She says, just pulls you back down. It's like, okay. Hi, Michelle. By the way, I'm gay. I like girls. That actually works out great. No. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, it's a great. This is where you ask if you can kiss her. I, I I'm I so ring. agog that okay. I give the yeah. ring. I handed the ring back to Adam, and it's because in the head, yeah, true self Michelle is like ascending essentially. Yeah, like, yeah. I think there was a, there was a Herman's head one time where I can't remember what, like the romantic side of Herman was like floating in the air, and that's what I'm picturing in my head. Is like I'm like, <laughs> ah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, all right. I'm not sure what to do with this. We did my part already, um, but there's a problem and it's going to need a solution. And I'm trusting you. But that problem is that we're not kissing Melody. So I need you to solve this problem. No, no, but we... But just do I it. Really... We can do this together. I know we don't work well together, but I can talk you through it. No, but we really, <laughs> we really like Melody. I understand that. But we're new to all this, and plus, I'm pretty sure Melody likes Daphne. No, Melody does not like Daphne. Melody <laughs> likes... <laughs> all right, I'm ready to go back. Okay, okay. I can go back in. Nope, I can go back in. Like, okay, like... okay, it's fine. <laughs> fine. Well, somebody has to do something, and you you, you can decide what the problem is and how to solve it then. Because I don't I... think there's any problem for now. I think, I think right now everything is great, and we're getting ourselves. Yep. I think we should turn around and tell, and tell uh, Chandler and Miss Travell and, and everybody yeah. else here, too. I think we need to help our new friend Melody. So we're going to help Melody with her problem about being afraid to talk to Daphne. Okay, but her... 
No, our problem is that we're not like getting to kiss her. Right, but sometimes. Oh, I made it. Well, you know what? Mistake. I will. You know what? I'm gonna agree with. <laughs> no, we, with I'm we gonna want bring to a be problem friend. solver here yeah. because. What I want most in the world is for people to like me and be happy with me right. and, and, and love me for who I am and well, maybe the way that I love and I I want my friends to be happy and we have cool friends now and we should try to make them happy too. Exactly. If well, we're our true selves, we need to help Melody be her true self. Even if that means she doesn't necessarily like us and maybe I, we get her with Daphne. Melody has been talking this yes. whole time. <laughs> Melody's like, and you, like, you tune back in and she's like, so, like, I called them and told them to just tell me the plot of the movie. And they were like, well, it takes place in the multiverse. And I was like, what's the multiverse? They looked that up for me. They told me what that was. And, like, I was thinking about it. And, like, there is definitely a world in which I like girls. And it's not a problem. And everyone thinks it's okay. Like, there's probably a world where I'm a boy. That would be so gross. And I wouldn't like it. But if I like girls in that world, then nobody would care. And there's probably a world in which my parents are okay with it. And there's probably a world in which I can do magic and stuff. I think it's great that you like girls. Yeah. I just, like, wish we didn't have to live in this world, you know? Tell her that it's okay that she likes girls in this world, too. Yeah, it's it's okay that you like girls in this world, too. No, it's not. I'm going to lose everything. It is okay. No. And there's strength in numbers. And there's power in numbers. And if we stick together, we can conquer anything. That's what I've been saying all along. You won't lose Well, I tried to give you the ring, and you didn't take it. Well, well, I thought we were going to get to kiss her. And you I got scared. You won't lose us. <laughs> really? Yeah. You won't lose everything. Tell her we want to help her get with the girl she likes. We're ride or die. Let's go. <laughs> you you supported us when very few other people did. But I have to tell you that it, like we were hanging out with Daphne earlier. And okay. Daphne's super cool. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we should all hang out together with Daphne, even if you don't like her i yeah that but, would be nice yeah i think she does like her though i kind of i like i, I kind of really like daphne like i met her the one time but like Aww. she's so cute and pretty and hot and like amazing fashion sense yeah yeah, yeah it's amazing. absolutely yeah well, for and, sure yeah. and the accent is so cool yeah you betcha yeah. oh my gosh yeah. tell her about chauncey so, <laughs> just checking, do you think Daphne was serious about that? Oh, it's hard to tell. People trick us a lot. Yeah, so I, and Daphne's I, so cool, it's hard to tell, like. But I think Daphne's cool enough that she'll think it's funny, even if she doesn't actually like Chauncey. Oh my god, Daphne is the kind of person that would think that ironic things are really funny. Okay, okay. That's why I told you to buy the Garfield shirt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, like, maybe we could hang out all three of us sometime. And Daphne also says that she likes some sort of cat named Chauncey, who's a guess a, a, an English thing. Oh, I will call the library about that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I could also like Google stuff for you and like give you information too if you want to like you know call me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. That's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I... The number we gave you is not a. Oh, I'm, I can't talk to you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you tell me. The number we gave you is not a landline. It's our cell phone. So if you call, you don't have to talk to our dad or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, and so I have a cell phone. So when you call that number, it goes straight to me. So you don't have to, like, worry about, like, anybody else answering or anything like that. And I can actually, like, be on the computer at the same time. And, like, I can look up the questions you ask while you ask them. Do you have Remind a smartphone? Me. Say yes. Yes. Can I look at it? Sure. I just feel really drawn to smartphones. Yeah. Reminder sure. that. Phone having a smartphone makes us cool because cool yeah. people have phones. No, she and doesn't we... have one. We don't want to make her feel bad. Tell her it has steak oh, on it. Oh right, yeah. Steak's not cool. I mean, she might think it is because she's never seen it before. Oh, this has snake on it. See, I told you. <laughs> Maybe we can do better. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, wait. When we we got the phone, we got the the phone insurance, right? I don't think Dad will let us do that. No. <laughs> Maybe we, well, we're gonna, dad's gonna pay us for the stuff. Well, no, we already have a, for, a, a, a advance in our allowance. Maybe we should just give her the phone. Oh. No, we cannot just give her our no, phone. No, we need the phone to look up cool stuff. We do oh. need our phone. Oh, so what's gonna happen when dad tries to call? That's true. So, the phone that is like problem. where I used, like, oh, wait, do we have our old phone? Yeah. 
The last phone? Uh, the Razor? Roll me a d6 if it's even you do. Okay. <laughs> the Razor. Use the phone. Four. Four. Okay, yeah. you have that old phone. <laughs> it's, oh my god. Yeah. Can it make, maybe not the Razor, can it be the Nokia brick? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's, you. Yeah. I, you. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. That thing's not going anywhere. Okay. I, had the, I had the razor. I thought it was the coolest. Uh, oh, yeah. I wanted the yeah. razor. I had the brick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, our, our old phone is the Zach Morris, like, <laughs> stay by the bell phone. <laughs> the big old 80s. Yeah. Hey, you know, I also have an old phone. Like, it's not hooked up to a plan or anything right now, but if you, like, I don't know if I'm not going to break. That's just a Wi-Fi, but whatever. Um, but like, if you like are near school or something, you can still like hook into the Wi-Fi with. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or at the library because she goes to yeah. the library. Yeah. Yeah. When you come to the library with us, you could like go on the internet there with the phone. Oh, that would be so good. And that means you don't have to sign the the chart that says you use the internet, so your parents might not even know. That would be so good. Yeah. Yeah. You could use WhatsApp and talk to Daphne. Yeah, you could use WhatsApp to talk to Daphne. WhatsApp is an app. Oh. They're like, when you open the phone on the Nokia brick. Like, there's... what's up? But what's app? Exactly. Isn't it, isn't it very clever? That's very it's clever. It's very clever. Yeah. 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 Listen, thank you so much for being my friend, Michelle. You're like kind of the best friend I've ever had. Same. People at my church don't get me at all. I feel like nobody gets me. Kill them. <laughs> I, it, it, can I give you a hug? Yeah. Okay. Hug. And uh, Melody's parents pull up at that moment, but they see her hugging a boy, and they're like, "Whew! Dodged a bullet." Um. Yeah. So where do you want to go now? What do you want to do now? You have a variety of options you can explore. You can go to the library. You can go try and get a job. You can go try and sell where, drugs. <laughs> where is, uh, do, have you met Tanager yet? You have not met Tanager. Where um, is Tanager? Like, meta, like, lens on this, not, like, Melody, or, no, no, sorry. Michelle is not wondering where Tanager is. Mm -hmm. Kimmy is wondering, where is Tanager in this? Uh, Tanager is at the library. <laughs> when you told me the places you were at, I wrote down where everybody was, and we just Aww. haven't gotten to the library yet. I think we should go to the library, because I bet you Daphne might be there, too, and then we can, like, try to hook up Daphne and... But and literally, Daphne. whatever location you go to, Tanager will be okay. there, because I can yeah. contrive a reason that they are at a Christmas store there. I at feel it. like the library is actually, like, makes sense now. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're going to take... Melody with us because we could like walk outside and show her to hook up to the Wi Fi because mm -hmm. the Wi Fi is going to be on even if the library is closed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we simplify a little bit? Because at one point, one of the possible job locations was the bookstore. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Can we maybe retcon it that it was the library? So, like, it's kind of like streamlined of like a place people would want to go. I don't know. I mean, it's Does it's it, it doesn't matter. Okay. No, you know, we we um, it's just a matter of which NPC is at the library, basically. Yeah. I was Tanager like, is always there, but yeah, Tanager is wherever you're going. Yeah, I was thinking it's just a possibility of like things we want to do as characters, location people are at, yeah. like streamlined. I'll so. I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go to the bookstore, you can go to the bookstore, and Tanager will be there. Um, you know, so yeah. Hey, problem solver. Yeah. We should look up. Rules for emancipation, maybe. Solve that problem. Uh, I feel like we need a job first. Like, it's for right, but we should at least know what the steps are. Mm, maybe we'll wait till we're at the library Wi-Fi to look up that. We want to make sure we clear that oh, search history. So that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Do it at the library. Yeah, we don't want to do it at home. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to the library. Yeah. All right. Uh, who else Who all you, have you called to come here with you? Melody, obviously. Yeah, Melody's I think Melody still... and Daphne. At least, at least I'm pushing for Melody and Daphne. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I think I'm trying to play matchmaker now. Like I'm in, I'm in my head, like imagining, like, mm -hmm. like I got a whole chalkboard behind me, and I've drawn like images of what Melody and Daphne are gonna look like as a couple, mm -hmm. and I've like, like written out like fan fiction about them, and it's all happening in the back of my mind. Yes. Uh, Chandler. Oh, Tumblr. Uh, yeah. Chandler is also here, just just uh, out, the, and he is like, you you get books here. For free. You just get any book you want. I mean, not any book. They have to have it, but you can get it for free. 
Hey. Hi. Oh, it's your girlfriend. Melanie's like, what? You should correct him. Oh, no. She's great. Just and we're close. Just okay. Tell Melody that like we thought it would be a good rap, like a like a secret, like a mm-hmm. like a prank. Uh, she, she's gonna or do the like slide up to Ch- to Chandler. It's not like official yet. Like I haven't asked officially. Oh, okay. So be cool. All right. You know what? Here's the thing. Ask Chandler what he thinks about when, like, a girl has a girlfriend. Because then, like, it doesn't come back on us yet. But, like, maybe we find out how cool he is. Because maybe Chandler is, like, a friend that we can trust. He seems like a bro. But, like, a cool bro. Like, they kind of... Like, I'm turning into a bro now. I'm fucking... <laughs> he seems like the kind of bro that, like, 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 is some of my thick. Like sometimes there's like a like, like a guy who's like kind of like dumb as a box of rocks, but he's like sweet, like like Thor, right? Like, you know that thick where Thor like sets up Jane and Valkyrie, like and mm-hmm. is like really cool and tight about it. Like, what if it was like that? Yes, I am very be. nervous because I feel like there's a lot of problems that could call it, be caused by this, but I I feel like also it's the right thing to do. So maybe yeah. it goes to the right, thing to, right thing to do. Right, right thing to do. Right thing to do. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So yeah, we're not we're not really uh, official yet, and we're we're kind of just kind of seeing where things are going. But I mean, it's possible. I mean, you know, she might like another guy, or you know, the, maybe another girl. You know, like I don't know. You know. I think you might just outed her. I, I was trying not to do that. I was trying to circumvent that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're just saying like it's not always clear who likes who. Exactly. Know, especially at our age. Exactly. You know, People are vagaries saying... of human sexuality and all that. Totally. I've learned a lot about this. I have six lesbian aunts, each taller than the last. <laughs> Chandler is cool. I told you. Oh my god. Can you imagine how much fun you have with six lesbians? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't think about it on our phone. <laughs> Although it'd be weird they were your aunts. Right. Uh yeah. See, cool. Boy, the yeah, camping cool. trips uh, yeah. would be uh, that's, fantastic. That's awesome. Oh yeah. my god, so much granola. Yeah, okay, cool. And uh drugs. yes. Well I try not to assume sexuality or gender. That's just how I am. Chandler. <sighs> Tell him I'm Rochelle. Tell him I'm Rochelle. Tell him I'm Rochelle. Tell him I'm Rochelle. Great. So I that's 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 wonderful to hear. Um and you know <laughs> You can call me Michelle if you oh want. Oh my god, oh my god, you did it! Oh my god, somebody would be doing it! Wait, 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 oh my wait, god, wait, 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 that's, that's a cool name. Michelle? Right? Oh my god, oh, thank yeah. you. That's like Michelle Yo. Exactly. Oh my god. He's the coolest. Oh my god, it has to be seen that movie. Oh, we can all go see the movie together. I mean, I love Police Story. Great movie. Oh Great she movie. She knows the deep thoughts. It's it's so, so uh problem all solver like while well, 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 uh right thing was like uh saying the is saying, Oh, we're, we're Michelle. Like problem solver made a giant list of problems that may have just been started and then when he's like, Oh, it's a cool name, crosses all them all off. I like to imagine I crossed them off. Well, yeah. you were like you were doing them and then when I heard it, I came right yeah. to mind. So can I like assume that like this is just between us. And... Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, it's, it, he's like so. It's very I, still very crazy. on down low. But yeah, I'm okay. If I see you in person at school, I'm just gonna be like, "Hey, pal," and you know when I say "pal," I mean Michelle. <gasps> oh my god, that's he's such a like, good idea. You're so, so, uh, if you're I so like cool. boys, I would have such a crush on her. That solves so many problems. I just like that I dead named for no reason. Speaking. That was Chandler's dead name. Chandler was like Chandler just speaks to me more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but that's that's amazing, and and I mean, if you like, you know, Michelle Yeoh, and, and here's some books that are like some of her movies that if you want to check rad, out, rad, awesome. I'll give him a list. You. Also, the library has movies you can check out. Doesn't seem like he's much of a reader, but I like the the thought behind it, the feeling. <laughs> We're at the library. You know, it's the right thing to do. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure. I like maybe, that. Maybe it's good for him to learn to read some books because who knows what's going to happen with that football career, you know? 
right? Yeah, zero point zero three zero percent of that ever working out there. But you're he's saying there's a chance. He's probably pretty yeah. close to like not being able to read again for like the rest of his life. So he should probably enjoy reading books now while he still has a shot. At it. <laughs> so uh, Chandler goes off to find some of these books, and you hear from behind the shelf behind you. So your name's Michelle. Who is, oh, it? Who, is no. it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh Peak. no. Hi. It's Tanager. Oh. You know Tanager from school. You don't know, like, Tanager is not like number one center of attention, but everybody knows Tanager. They're just around. She's great. Uh um, yeah, so it's Tanager as out here as they are at the other school. Yep. Okay. Yep. So he's, he's that like, sounds right to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's it's fine. Yeah. She's awesome. Yeah, cool. Yeah, she's just like Michelle. Okay, interesting. Okay, Wouldn't pick that sure name, but it's not me making the choice, so it works for you. <laughs> but like, tell her she's a bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. Good, interesting. And there's a little bit of an edge, like a like we'll fight about it if we want to fight about it. But I, I don't want to fight you, but I will throw you down if I have to. I mean, <laughs> I'm reaching for the ring because I want to fight her for making fun of her name, and you, yeah, she could be holding me back. You could have picked a name like Tanager, but Michelle's she cute. Does I like have it. a point. Tell, tell her it's because we don't want to suck. <laughs> I, well, I, was, I love you. I love your character. You know, Tanager is a great name, but if you're a, a bitch, little bit of that goes a long way. <laughs> okay, if that's what you think. I love this character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Oh my God, this... Great. All right. Um, well, uh, oh it's nice to know that I, you know, the more of us there are at school, the more that we can, you know, have safety and all of that. So it's nice to know that you're here. Oh, that's for so fun. I'm motioning to everybody else. Like, see, this is what I'm saying. We could have community. We could be problem solving. Right. And we could be doing the right thing by being open and being ourselves. Have everyone know who we are. We're taking the steps. We're almost okay, there. Oh my god. Could have done yeah. this so long ago. Okay. I've been right all along. Anyway, um, like I have to go get a <laughs> soda. Um, so do you, do you want anything? Do you have a bubbly chum? I like soda. What's that? Oh, bubbly chum. Oh, it's like a really cool British. Uh, um, so You're not like talking to me. What's happening right now? <laughs> You're right. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm dead. What is a bubbly chum? <laughs> oh, you weren't here for it yet. Oh, no, no. I, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just. just... <laughs> I have, I have really headcanoned the story of the Bubbly Chums and why Dave only says I'm Dave. I'm Dave. And, it's, and the reason why is my head is that in the commercial, that's his only line of dialogue. <laughs> like, like, like the three of us, I'm, I'm Bubbly, I'm Chum, and I'm Dave. And then the, like Bubbly comes back and goes, "Did you know Bubbly Chums has the, like the whole spiel?" <laughs> never comes back to Dave, so that's the only line of dialogue Dave's ever learned. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fancy. Um, yeah. I'll have a Hawaiian punch. Yeah, cool. Great. All right. I'll be back in a second. Cool. You know, Hawaiian Bunch is really good if you have vodka to it. There's not vodka in the library. Probably but, is. But, disaster. But like drinking does vodka. make you cool. No, no. This is very true. It does. And then I could drive. So, no, did I no. just... <laughs> uh, this is a very popular library today. So, did I just hear you say your name's Michelle? Is that really Who is this, this aisle? <laughs> Karen Joe. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Abort. Abort. Hello. Did I just hear you say that? Or is it a joke? Tell her she's a bitch. <laughs> Tell her her name's bitch. Well, you know, eavesdropping isn't very polite. I just don't know why men want access to women's spaces. Oh, my God. I hate her. Oh. oh. I know that I created this character, but I hate her so yeah, much. Oh. You named her Karen Joe. I know I did. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know why women like you need to gatekeep spaces. There we go. You tell her. I'm oh, going to no. be calling your father about all of this. We should kill her. Oh, no. You hear from the front, someone is stamping books. It's like, Karen, please stop threatening the child. I didn't hear any of that, but I saw it. I saw you lunging like this what has this poor boy done to you and it's the chief librarian wendell parker yes. seems very bored <laughs> stamping his books 
I also happy. run the Christmas shop, oh, and I'm happy. married to Emily Travell of the Dairy Queen. I do all of these oh, things. She's the best. She's, really she's the pretty best. cool, too. Yes, yeah, so Bree. Oh. I'm asking you, Ms. Joe. Is Ms. Joe giving you a hard time? Telling yes. We have to be nice to adults. Say that we just 12. got back from taking Melody to the Dairy Queen. And that will hopefully imply that Miss oh. Joe is mistaken. Tell her we were taking all the French problems. lessons Without and her name lying. was Michael in French, which was Michelle. No. And then we can, like, I was having a private conversation with a friend and she felt the need to eavesdrop and confront me about things. Oh, mm. oh no. Tell her she's a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Let's not do that. Is she following Tanager around again? She seems to think that Tanager is part of her business, don't you, Miss Joe? Well, I just don't know how I feel about, you know, people who are a little bit out there being around my children. It's all. I have six children, each taller than the last. <laughs> are they Tanager's aunts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yes. know what we should do? We should convince Dad that Miss Joe thinks that she's better than him because oh. then he'll fucking hate her. He does not like that. Also, a spitball hits Karen Joe from off screen. <laughs> Just take over, take over Tanager for a second. Yeah. Tanager <laughs> holding a Hawaiian punch in there. Yeah. Miss Joe, what other people Joe, do with their lives punch? are none of your business. Uh, this is a nice community we have here, and we don't want to see it becoming not such a nice community. You're now, right. Tell her to move. Tell move. It tell is a nice move. community. It's a very nice community. In spite community. of people like you. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I like this version of Do the Right Thing. So perhaps it's time you took your books and left before. Someone drops a house on you. Do I have the ring? I feel like I have the ring. <laughs> you've, you've had an influence at least. Are we high? <laughs> no. Are we drunk? This Was is there causing alcohol so in that many Hawaiian problems. Punch? Did Tanager spike our Hawaiian right punch? Right thing found her backbone. Wendell. There's Wendell. like a, like, like problem solvers, like there's like the Santa Claus list that like falls down <laughs> and like rolls down on the floor of like all the list of all the problems that just got caused. Wendell yeah. Parker looks up at Ms. Joe and is like, by the way, roll me Intimidator. Oh, Bronner. yeah. Roll me Bronze. Let me just see how frightened she is. Okay. 12. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's, uh, cool. she's very respectful. She like takes a couple steps back and Wendell Parker's mm -hmm. like, Ms. Joe, just butt out of it. He said, but. <laughs> sticker, sticker at him saying, but. And he looks at, he looks at you and says, okay. Uh, how, how, uh, sorry for her. She's always trying to get involved in business. He shouldn't apologize for things that aren't his fault or his doing. I, I the feel Midwest. now that my confidence, <laughs> now that the confrontation is over, I need someone to fix the problems I just caused. <laughs> <laughs> and it's me that does it. No, <laughs> I mean, I am really open to not, true no. self doing this, but <laughs> it's that moment. No, of, I think you were a pretty true <laughs> selfie that whole time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I could do that was more true self than what you did. <laughs> oh my god. I know. I'm like. Uh, so into myself right now. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I'm hot. I'm a badass bitch. Right? Exactly. Oh god, I like being Michelle. We're fierce. Oh no. It's gonna be so many things. Okay. We could just kill her. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, that presents a whole other set of problems, though. No, no one likes her. I think you'd be fine with it. Mm -mm. We've seen like a lot of like true crime documentaries. I think we could figure out how to do it. Mm. Yes, we could figure out how to do it. Should we do it? No. I'm pure id, so I think just kill someone is like that carnal desire. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm going with. The problem solver's like, I know yeah. how to do it, but I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh... Sorry, I... Yeah. Kimmy, the player, lost track of... Mr. Mr. Parker is still stamping his books, and he, he just said, I'm so sorry for her. She's always getting involved in other people's lives. Thanks. Maybe he has like dirt on her. He can like tell I us. Appreciate Maybe that. Blackmail her. I feel like it's got to be against the law or something to for an adult to be involved in minors, like 
gender preferences and stuff that deeply, don't you think? It should be, but too often it's not. Yeah. <sighs> You're like an adult. Can't you like vote and make that like a law? I do vote. Doesn't work sometimes. So does my wife. There's two of us. Doesn't matter. Each taller than the last. <laughs> I have six wives, each taller than the last. Um, I mean, now we're right. <laughs> sometimes I just think this world's broken. It's over. It should be done. I should maybe just get rid of it. Go somewhere else. But here we are. All we can do is make it better, I guess. That's what Emily tells me. You know, I feel like there's probably a professional you could talk to about this. <laughs> Look at the science lab. There's probably someone in science lab who could make the world a better place. Uh, Maybe. Oh, my God. We could break into the science lab and find a portal to another universe. You're right. Like, that's that's I, it's very weird. Go ahead. No, but, like, mental health is important. I've read things about this. And, and um, yeah, you should take, if you're feeling that sad about the world, you should you're take, right. take steps. It's good you're communicating with your partner about it, though. I read that that was a very good step to take. It's very weird for you to be the, like, fourth person I've told this, but Emily's pregnant. I think a lot about <gasps> The things that we're bringing a child into this world for. Baby. Babies have little cheeks that you can squeeze. You can. They do have little cheeks that you can squeeze. That is a plus in favor of the world. You can you squeeze a baby's bellies. cheeks like right now. <laughs> the yeah. best Aww. part of baby cheeks is it's like nine months until they're strong enough to like get angry at you for it. You can <laughs> squeeze all you want for nine months. And then by like nine months, then they start getting annoyed and turn their head away. Ah. Stupid They're probably already control. annoyed, but they just, like, can't. <laughs> Which is actually kind of problematic when you think about it. Emily thinks that it's very silly of me to spend that much time obsessing about another world, but I can't help sometimes. I can't help but think about a world where things make more sense. It's hmm. funny. I get that feeling sometimes, too. Yeah. Tell them that if we work together, we can make that world a reality. That's not oh, a thing we can maybe, actually problem you know solve. That that's worth we need Maybe. magic to make that. That's as far as I can go without getting sued. Well, what if there was magic? That's not problem solving. We can't invent magic. Oh, but maybe we can go to that science lab and maybe they have like a parallel universe jumping machine like in that movie. I'm definitely not suggesting that. That we're being taken seriously by a respectful adult. No, we should adult. do it. We should break in that there. nice. We can go pretend to apply for a job, and then we can go like, hey, while we're here, do you have like a facility we can look at? Do you want to check out any books? Because uh, the library's about to close. Oh. oh, hey, get out of back in there. The library's about to close. And Michelle, or Melody and Daphne come out, and they're like, they've clearly been kissing. <gasps> bit. Daphne like, sorry, I, we were just um, looking at the Guinness <sighs> Book of World Records. We want to set a world record. I'm so oh. happy and proud of us for doing that, but also a little jealous. And now I have to deal with the jealousy problem. Ask if they want a third. <laughs> I feel Wait. like I need to do some research <clears throat> on the internet before I ask about that. Well, I can do some research on the internet, if you know what I mean. Here's the thing. You can always tell when kids are making out at the library. This is to camera. You can always tell when kids are making out at the library. It's exactly the kind of kids that would make out at a library. And she would make out at a library. <laughs> just during the melody. Back to Michelle. Well, well we're certainly going to go home and find some internet. Oh, I've already found that on the internet, and I've watched a lot of it. God. Oh, I know. <laughs> I got past Dad's firewalls. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to check out? Uh, well, we sure liked it. No. I feel like there's the thing we want to check out and the thing that mm -hmm. we feel like we could check out and have Dad see it and not get in trouble. Uh -huh. We check out both and put the one that Dad would approve of on top. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. We could just not leave one out for Dad to find. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, uh, ask him if kids check out books if their parents know what books they checked out. Uh, Mr. Tanninger, what is your last name? Parker. Parker. Sorry, that's Kimmy. Uh, 
So if I check out a book, like, like, does anybody else, like, get to see what books I check out? Like, on the computer? Or, like, my parents can come and ask me what books I check out? Or is it private? Are you over 14? Yes. Then no. She's made up all for Wisconsin. So we could get the book that we want to get. And get, like, a really big book? That we could hide it inside of. Technically, your parent could come and demand to know what you checked out, but I would never tell them. That would be irresponsible. That's Children right. need to access information sometimes for their own safety. What a great guy. That is super cool. I heard about a great book called Gender Queer. We should see if that's something that they would let us have. People were talking about it on TV and like made a lot of adults really mad. Well, maybe, maybe. maybe we'll start smaller with a uh, like fashion magazine. Maybe it'll be harder for Dad to trace who checked it out if we check it out under our name. Uh, so like, do we have to show, um, <laughs> like ID or anything to get a library card, or can we just like write down a name that we like that's you... like our name, our real name? You have to show ID, but the name on the card doesn't have to match the name on the ID, especially because I'm the one making that card. Oh, uh, could we, um, maybe have an account without, like, a card that we have to carry around? Like you The can... name isn't on the card, just a barcode. Oh, oh. Cool. Oh, this, uh, is, this is sounding really cool. good. I have an idea, too. Uh, what if we ask him if there's, like, a way that we could have, like, a shelf that we could, like, leave the books that we check out on so we don't have to take them home where Dad can find them? We can just read them while we're here. But they'd be, like, our books. We can have them put them on hold. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we'd have to check them out for that. There's an actual... <clears throat> push up my glasses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can, we can actually put them on hold so that we only... Yeah. Good idea. Sell. <laughs> <laughs> That was the best with extensive library backgrounds. I also right? realized oh, that, like, we can't break I... the rules of reality <laughs> yeah, that yeah. far. No, we can have magic, yeah, but magic. don't mess with <laughs> library policies. Four like <laughs> versions of the same person arguing, but the Dewey Decimal System. Don't fuck with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. I, I, I was thinking of it more like we're asking this guy to do us a favor and let us yeah, have yeah. a private show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But problem solvers like Dewey Decimals. <laughs> 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 um so yeah i could uh uh fill out the form for uh a new uh, a library account and like maybe check out some books and like have them just stay here because i like am too tired to carry them home maybe sometimes yes yes yeah i do that for melody yes Ask him if there's like a way that you can like use the internet here to find missing people. We can like see where our mom is. I feel like you probably have done that a lot. Probably. Because dad yeah. doesn't give a shit if we're on the yeah. internet. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Melody's going to fill out Melody, or not, sorry. Michelle. Michelle two M names. Michelle's going to fill out like the new library card mm -hmm. application. There we go. Thank you. We'll uh, make sure that you get one, Michelle. Thank you. Um, I know, uh, like, uh, some other people earlier were saying, like, I don't want to, like, have more problems, like, Mrs. Joe. So maybe if you just are, like, friends, uh, and you'll just, we'll just know that it's, You'd be surprised how rarely I need to use your name. I can just say hello. Okay. Welcome to the library. <laughs> that sort of thing. But like if like if you feel like using Michelle and it's just like you and me, that would be that would be really cool. I'd like of course. Do you like Shelly? Oh no. 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 Okay. No. I see. No. I see. Oh. All right. Oh, that that just sounds real wrong. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. The entire auditorium just rioting. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Just like <laughs> You know, I mean, okay. <laughs> so, screen lights up, you're headed home, and then it's like you can't see anything because other people have taken over. And the next thing you know, you're on a bus, and you are wearing what appears to be a military uniform. Mm -hmm. And you have like a 
well, I don't know why you would have this brochure, but you do just because we're running late on time and I'm trying to get through exposition. <laughs> you have a little brochure that says the name of a military school. Oh, no. Karen Joe Nardos. Yeah. And you can hear in your head just everything. Your father yelling, computer printouts, found another box full of stuff, set it all on fire, all of that. And now you're on your way to military school. Okay. Because he doesn't want you to, uh, he wants you to turn out more like your brother, who's super gay. Like honestly, <laughs> but why can't you make more male friends like your brother? Right. <laughs> yeah, he's brother... always bringing home Chet, right? And, and Bruce always hanging out with those other boys. They're always doing push-ups together. Right? Always sweating. <laughs> super. They like to wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> What if we just like yeah, hijack good. the bus and get off the bus? Like, there's just, yeah, we could do that. We could just like grab one of those guns and just take over the bus. Well, mm. I don't think that would be a good idea. I don't we're think not... it... Yeah, a hostage situation is not the right. Oh, thing I don't want to hostage. Do. I just want to get off the bus. Well, you don't make friends with guns. I don't uh, think we're going to make a whole lot of friends at the military school, so I think we should get out of it now. Well, we I am can. in agreement there. Let's do it then. Yeah. Come on. We need to. Go to California. Well, I'm trying to get off the bus so we can go to California. <laughs> this is me trying to grab Sorry, we're solving a problem right now, apparently. <laughs> problem solver just is like, like there's just like piles. Like, she, like, like she's all p buried in papers of lists of problems yeah. right now. Like her like head yeah. is like sticking out a little bit. And you giant, got like post-it notes yeah, on your face. Cartoon right? pile of yeah. like, all right, yeah. uh... Okay, we can handle this. We will we will fix these problems. I have to make a prayer. I, we have to pray. Somebody else did this. writing on your arms. Yeah. Like you're writing on your forehead. Somehow. All over, like crying. And um, I will tell you, you do have your cell phone. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, where are we? You're just on you're just on the road headed outside of town. You are not okay. that far out of town. If you got off the bus right now, you could like run back in. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, oh, 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 oh. We, should, we should go Daphne. Daphne's parents are far away, so she must live somewhere, maybe by herself or with cool people who are cool. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, excuse me, uh bus driver. Hey. Uh I need to get off of the bus. We need to pee. We need to pee. You need to get off uh, the I, bus? Yeah, I gotta pee. Like, real bad. Listen, it's me, bus driver Mike. I'm not letting you off this bus. Oh, bus driver Mike. It's my Mike. job. Come on, be cool. I gotta pee. You gotta Maybe pee? we should say that we need to do more than pee to make this... I he gotta... Doesn't wanna, he doesn't want to have to have us pee in bottles like people from Amazon. Right. That's... Yeah, I mean, that's unconscionable, like having workers pee in bottles. Uh, now uh, you're talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I don't want to have to pee in a bottle like a mistreated worker. You uh, know what? You see that sign up there says Teamsters? That's me. I'm Teamsters. That's, yeah. That's the union. Yeah. And I know that the union's good for you. God, I'm so glad I could work him in. Um <laughs> Well, so if I could just uh... <laughs> so is that poster right above like a cornfield? So it's the union corn. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, my... hey, could you leave? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's my time. Uh, no. But listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen. I got a break coming up. Can you like hold it like yeah. thirty minutes? I got a break coming up. Oh, thirty minutes. Okay. Uh, is uh okay? And I I go up to the front and like. Okay, um, but like in thirty minutes, we're gonna be real far away from town, huh? There's like a like a like a general who's like, sit down, and the bus driver Mike's like, yeah, we'll be pretty far out of town, but listen, listen, you go, we got, I got a break, I get to take lunch, I get to eat whatever I want. You can just like hang out with me. I'll get you some lunch. It'd be great. Okay, well, what if what I want is to get off of this bus? Everybody wants to. I want to get off of this bus, kid. I'm sorry, but I want to get on another bus and go to California. California, what's in California? Uh, just stuff, people, you Michelle know, Yo. friends. Michelle Yeoh's in California. Michelle Yeoh. Listen. Listen. Strong worker yeah. rights. Strong worker rights. It's a union town, I hear. Listen. 
I'm going to give you like five seconds. Just convince me. I'll let you off this bus. Just five seconds. Okay? Okay. I like the cut of your jib. All right. Oh, I got to go so bad. It's, I got a turtle head poking out. Yeah. <laughs> You, 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 you. All right, it's gonna be explosive. I don't know if I can contain it. We are X carding. <laughs> I we got through this. I was I'm like so happy we got through this game, but we had to use it one time, and it was for that. This is just a like let's move on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen. So we do what we need to do to get uh, to get listen, Mike to stop. Listen, the bus. kid. I know nobody who wants to be on this bus because you're all being sent yeah. like. Just tell me, did you break the fucking wall? Uh, no. No. No, of course not. Why are you on this bus? Well, because... Just be honest. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Okay. Tell him why. We were selling... Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, our dad found out who we really were, and he was mean to us about it because a mean lady heard us at the library and outed us to him, and now he's sending us off to military school. Which is weird because military is allowed to have open-serving trans people now, so I don't know why we're being forced to go to the military when we could be ourselves in the military, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you're saying, like, you're just like a... Like, like, like your dad's being mean to queer kids. Yeah! Like Our dad's like an kid. asshole. Yeah, 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 I'm like a really right. queer kid. Yeah, I am right. a really, and I, I actually like, like, I kind of realized I haven't said it like that clearly out loud before. Uh -huh. And I stop and I look back at all the kids on the bus. And I go, I am a very queer kid, and I'm okay with it because I'm awesome. Yeah, cool, yeah. great. Yeah, I have uh, six bisexual nibblings, each taller than the last. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's. <laughs> Solidarity, fight the power. Let's get those corporations out of here. I'm gonna let stop the bus. I'm gonna open the door. I'm gonna give you like 30 seconds. Just make a run for it, okay? I love it. <clears throat> Pulls over, opens the door. Roll me a uh, flight. <laughs> Not my best, but I think I can do it. Okay. Uh, Weird question. We... Can we assist? Yes, absolutely. Ooh. I got a three. Okay, so let's see some assistance Six. here. Roll me your roll me your flight score. Everyone who beats a three, let me know. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, it's ten. Ten. So that explodes because it's a D ten. Oh wow. Ooh, that's a nineteen uh, plus my uh one to oh sh I said that was I rolled the lower die anyway. It's fine. Okay. Nineteen. Sure. I had four. Okay, so you still <laughs> did beat a three. <laughs> I did beat a three. Yeah. I've yeah. never used my legs before. I've never been able to drive. I'm sorry. <laughs> you run so fast, you feel like you're flying. It feels amazing. Where do you run to? I run to the school. Okay. Because I feel like it's safe there, and I know that Daphne is at school right now. Okay. And I know that I feel like if I go to the school, like they have like check-ins and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So like, I think like my dad can't come get me. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think I go to Mr. Stapleton's uh, shop class. Cause that's, I know, mm -hmm. I know Daphne is there this time of day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you get there, there's, like, just general chaos. There's, like, all these people there. Kimmy's on her cell phone. That's very weird. Like, um... <laughs> like, you toaster stuff, I bet. <laughs> all your friends are there, but they're acting oh, kind of... They're oh, acting kind of strange. They're acting kind of weird. And, like, you're just standing there. And you feel something go into the side of your neck. It hurts very badly. And you become aware on some level that you are dying. And you also become aware on some level that you can stop this. How are you going to stop dying? <laughs> Something that has happened to you tonight is going to allow you to figure out how to stop yourself from dying. Okay. I don't have the answer to this. No, I, I think I... I think it's sheer willpower. I think that 
every second that I have been driving, that mm-hmm. I've been in control of the body, I've gotten more strength. Like I think like when I first tried to run off the bus, I think that I stumbled and I struggled. But then the rest of my personality, like everyone else, other, other parts of me, my community, my problems, I'm right thing, for the first time ever, they didn't try to stop me from being me completely. Like, like there's always there's always been at least one. Because like earlier when I said who I was, like problem solver was still thinking like, mm-hmm. okay, but now there's a new list of problems. Mm-hmm. And then like at one point when I was in a community was like, oh, what's gonna happen with this? Like there was always at least one naysayer. Mm-hmm. But when I fell running off the bus after I came out to this entire military school, like all these like kids that are being sent off, every single one of them had my back. They all picked me up. They all lifted me up. Mm-hmm. And for the first time, I feel like every part of me is in unison and that leads to such a sense of gender euphoria that i am not only am i connecting so well with my own personal self from this universe but i have just tapped into almost as if there's something present in this room that is helping it happen Mm -hmm. i have tapped into versions of myself from every other universe that mm. I can pot that I exist in. And so I've become this like combination of mm-hmm. the best parts of myself. Yes. You simultaneously feel a hand on your arm and a knife in your neck and you look over and it's your dad. And Hexbreaker dad says, you never should have run dead name, but you can run. Jeff Stapleton is across the room. He reaches into the, the furnace area and pulls us this weird green glowing thing. You have no idea where it came from, but you know it's very powerful and it's very magic and it's very old. And he's like, what the hey is this? And you see what you just said. All of reality opens up. You can see every possible version of everything. And you can see that in every world, you are Michelle. And... Mm. Yeah. What time is it? Uh, 10 oh, wow. 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 I did it. I get to play Michelle next week. <laughs> um, it's fun, don't you know? Thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle. Well, not now... next week. Yeah, next week we are off. Next oh, week yeah. we are taking off because of uh, travel plans and things like that. We will be back on the 14th. Yeah. We will resume with our friends in Hexbreakers World Prime. I mean, we've been to like 16 universes already, so who knows. Uh, But we will be back then. Uh, We are skipping next week. So catch us on September 14th. We have three episodes left-ish. Thank you very much for bearing with what... Not bearing. Thank you very much for watching what was break from what we normally do here and super uh, fun yeah, yeah. i love that that turn. Really was, yeah. yeah we uh i definitely hope that you had fun watching um i uh dork lord canada yes dork lord canada once again uh helping us out in the chat thank you so much for moderating uh you can watch previous episodes of this show at happyjacks.org slash hexbreakers uh, Strategic Con is coming up. It's Labor Day weekend, September 2nd through the 4th here in LA. Uh, some of us are going and are going to be running games. Kimmy, you just saw playing uh, Problem Solver Michelle, and Jason and Chris Gray. Uh, there will not be a live show from the con, uh, which we're sort of figuring out what works right now. And hopefully by next con, the advice show will be happening like normal on Friday. Uh, I'm Emily St. James. I've been the GM uh, and I uh, had a blast playing all of your characters. It was so fun. It was fun uh, to watch it. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash EmilyVDW. And um, I do this show every Wednesday, except next Wednesday. Kimmy. Hi, I'm Kimmy. Um, you can find me at Golden Lasso Girl pretty much everywhere on the internet. Um, I'm also behind all the Happy Jacks accounts. So when people forget to change the schedule, that's me. Um, if you'd like to support Happy Jacks, you can join uh, our Patreon at happyjacks.org slash Patreon. That keeps us ad-free and independent. It lets us play games like this that are super amazing and weird, and we don't have to worry about getting sponsors. So that's very helpful if you'd like to do that. And yeah. Don't forget that we're sponsored by Bubbly Chow. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. And Jane! And Jane! <laughs> 
Uh, I, I thought that weird Dave had in today while brushing my teeth. It made me laugh. Uh, like, like, I have to tell everybody else about my thoughts on Dave. Right. Yeah, I don't think Dave is watching the show, but yeah. every time we say, and Dave, yeah. I think of Dave. <laughs> right? yeah. Dave could do that so well, and he would, he would tell yeah. me, you know, you know, Oh, my God. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Adam, and uh, uh, thank you. Um, and you can find me at uh, H O O B U K on Instagram and Twitter, although way more on Instagram, uh, where I post stuff about cats and the labor movement and queer stuff and uh, native issues, uh, and art, um, and geek stuff. And yeah, that's all my stuff. Um, and I you can find me here on Wednesdays, and when I remember that I signed up for the schedule on Friday nights, sometimes on the advice show. <laughs> So, uh, oh, were you not here on Friday? Yeah, That's yeah. Was weird. It, was it here? That's on... weird. Weird. I was right? here. Huh, huh. Weird. How about that? <laughs> Amazing. Nick was, Nick was here. Yeah. Uh, and I was here. Yeah. It yeah. feels like I should have been here. Yeah, it does. It does feel like that a little bit. It's funny yeah. how that happens. I know, like, right. Kimmy had an excuse. Right, yeah. yeah. No, full disclosure, I completely forgot I had signed up for last week's podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it just... Kimmy clearly yeah. communicated that she wasn't going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I looked later, and there were, yeah. like, done several texts of Kimmy and Nick discussing that Kimmy wasn't going to be here, and I should have caught that. Yeah. And been like, wait, maybe I'm supposed to be there. We love you. <laughs> so... <laughs> Woo! Life yeah, happens. that's my head yeah. these days. Okay. Riley. Hey, everybody. I'm Riley Silverman. You can hear me on last week's episode of the Happy Jacks Advice Show podcast. Episode Were you there? Season four episode. I watched it. She was. Season 30 episode. It was good. It was yeah. good. I'm, still, good I'm advice. still reading an email that came in from that episode. I saw it. Still here. in it. it. I'm still reading it. Uh, I specifically picked the super long one for you after the week before of that. You I, I knew like... you did. I knew you did. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, uh, hey, uh, the Port Saga Vampire the Masquerade scripted podcast is about to launch season two. I play Zelda, the Nosferatu primogen, and I think you should check it out. Because uh, I was hey. nominated for the New Jersey Web Fest award Ooh. for it. But the Ooh. actual overall show was nominated as well, which is really fantastic. But season two is about to launch, so please catch up on season one, because I think season two is even better. It's such a really cool, fun... It's a Even if you don't know Vampire the Masquerade, it's a fun noirish murder mystery with vampires lots of really talented people who you might recognize from the like rpg scene stuff like that uh like ryan omega is part of it uh, michelle Wynn bradley is actually gonna be in season two which i'm very excited about so check that out and of course as always buy my star wars books pre-order them Yay! buy them they're available rileysilverman.com slash books Go to your favorite popular online booksellers or your friendly local bookstore, which I prefer. Go to tell them that you want these books. They don't have them. They go, hey, maybe we can pre-order those for you. And you go, oh, my God, I love that idea. And that's what happens. And it's very cool. They literally can get books. Yeah. 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 They get yeah. books. Yeah. They get Just books. Wendell Parker can yeah. get you books uh, yeah. if you go to the library. <laughs> But, but you should you should pay for these ones. You should pay for these ones. Right. I would yeah. rather I would rather you pay for them so that way they act, let me write more of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. also tell your library to buy right. them. Yes. 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 Yeah. Also, when your library gets copies, the 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 publish the, the books still make money. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a good system and it's great. And I support. I um, love public. libraries. I love libra yeah. love yeah. libraries. You could also buy them, read them, and then donate them to your local mm -hmm. school. Oh my god, that's a yeah, great idea. Yeah. Do you want like you... six copies of an X-Files book with my dead name on it? <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate for my fourth graders. <laughs> my books have my Mad current you. name on them, so if you if you buy oh. a copy and you see me, I will write yeah. my name on it for you in Sharpie. Nice. But you have to bring the Sharpie, but I don't have one on okay. me. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Joey. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, I am and have been Joey. You can find me on all the socials at Feywild85, F-E-Y-W-I-L-D-8-5. This is my only current online project because I'm working on a much larger project that is consuming my every waking moment that is 30 days away. You could sign up for a Friday show and show up. Oh, you know, wow. I don't think I could at this point. Well, that... Is, but no, but, is the event I, you, happening on a Saturday? It's happening on a Sunday. Well, you could be on the advice show the Friday before. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, you guys do not understand how stressed out. Oh, Jerry I should is. probably, I should probably check that because if I'm supposed to be out of town for the set, set event too, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna get okay. You yeah. could do the well, Friday. Well, I'm sure Adam has already signed up for that advice show, so don't worry about it because it's really cool. Oh, we'll just all match up, and Adam can show up. Right. Yeah. I actually did make sure to not sign up for that weekend. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but you did make sure to sign up for Friday, and it didn't work out. So maybe right. you didn't make sure. To... We right. love you. We, we love you. It's, it's just no. easy to make fun of you. No, and it's absolutely true. And this is like this is one of my things. Like, and and especially like, like I have been so insanely busy this month. Like, I have just been like like everything is flying out one ear and yeah, uh, and yeah. so yeah um anyway Everyone stop uh, listening to the podcast like 10 minutes ago I, right yeah <laughs> joey please come, come oh come that's here. all i got give adam shit please yeah. and thank you oh really are you sure you still want that thing to happen in 30 days <laughs> oh. oh no it got more dark at the end are you are you my character tonight it's right. let's do drugs <laughs> I mean, I'm into it. I right? have practiced walking down a straight line, throwing yes. pedals with my two-year-old a lot. Yes. So you better all get married. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could you could just tell her a wedding happened. I don't think she'll know. She would have no yeah. idea. Yeah. Like, I don't think yeah. she's like, like we could walk down like the backyard. Oh, the wedding! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like the moon landing. You can say it happened, and everyone will believe you. No, it definitely did. <laughs> you told me we could have the wedding at a soundstage in Los Angeles. <laughs> Well, actually, I could have probably arranged that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't wait anyway, <laughs> let's uh, end this before it goes off. And uh, thank you so much for watching again. Thank you so much for joining us in chat. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. every week. We love to hear from you on Twitter and Discord and all of those places. Uh, and if you want closing credits music for tonight, Dolly Parton's Light of a Clear Boom Blue Morning Ooh, is it. the way you should go. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I've been Emily St. James. Bye. We don't have the rights to that, so we won't be playing. Yeah, we don't stuff. play it. You <laughs> listen to it. You listen. Google. We're still living. Yeah. At the library. Mm -hmm.